Previously, in the Heaven Mountain Range, Xiao Yan met Miss Feng, a student of the Wind Lighting Pavilion and descendant of Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. Because Xiao Yan had killed some people from the Wind Lighting Pavilion, which leads to a trial fight between Xiao Yan and Miss Feng. And Xiao Yan has already become quite powerful. So Miss Feng is unable to do anything in front of Xiao Yan, after which both of them go their separate ways. As Xiao Yan takes a few steps forward, then he hears a girl's voice, who is being harassed by four people. All four of them said that, Hand over the psychic white fox. It is not as though we have not done something like killing a woman. The lady was holding a longsword in her hand. Her pale green clothing wrapped around her exquisite figure until it was vividly displayed. Her voluminous figure was extremely attractive, and her black hair, which was randomly restrained by a green-colored cloth, extended to her lovely buttocks. That young and pretty appearance of hers was not foreign. It was surprisingly Nalan Yanren who had accompanied Yun Yun in leaving Jia Ma Empire back then. A couple of years had passed. The current Nalan Yanren no longer had the tenderness that she had back then. When she moved, she would emit an alluring mature attraction. The pampered young lady back then had truly become a great beauty that could bring destruction to cities and empires. TL. Extreme beauty is said to be able to cause destruction of empires because they tend to be able to distract the ruler from doing the right things or from working. There was a lovely little white-colored fox on Nalan Yanran's shoulders. This white fox had snow-white fur which was extremely smooth. At a glance, one would have the feeling of liking it too much to put it down. It possessed lethal impact on women. At this moment, the pair of intelligent eyes belonging to this white fox were roaming all around. It seemed that the killing intent, which was permeating from the bodies of the tree people on the opposite side, had caused the snow-white fur to show signs of trembling. A soft babbling was emitted from its mouth. Nalan Yanran seemed to have sensed the fear of the little, white fox. She gently rubbed its head before slowly raising her head. Those pretty eyes of hers were icily staring at the three people opposite her. She tightened her grip on the longsword as a sharp sword aura slowly surged out. Two ice-cold words were also softly emitted from her mouth. Dream on. He he, what a stubborn beauty. However, you are a little too stubborn. With your five-star Do Huang strength, you can forget about escaping from the hands of the three of us. Obediently hand over the white fox. Otherwise, I would not mind enjoying just how much ecstasy such a beauty would give. A yellow-clothed man stared at Nalan Yanran with a searing gaze. He involuntarily licked his lips, and his eyes contained a lewd look. Nalan Yanran's pretty face had also become even icier upon hearing such despicable words from this fellow. The strength of the three people across from her were around that of a four-star Do Huang. If it had been one-on-one, -on -one, she was confident that she could kill them within a short period of time. However, if these three were to attack together, she would have difficulty blocking them. Moreover, these three people belonged to the same faction. They collaborated well with one another. During the earlier exchange, she had nearly suffered a disadvantage. The thing which gave her the most pressure was the man who had been sitting on the tree. This person had not attacked since the beginning. However, Nalan Yanran sensed a faint pressure when facing him from the opposite side. Clearly, the other party's strength was much stronger than hers. The ground spirit gate is indeed a place where garbage is produced. The expressions of the three yellow-clothed men became slightly colder when they saw that Nalan Yanran had identified their faction. With their strength, they were also considered the elites within the younger generation of the ground spirit gate. Although they could not be compared with people like Tang Ying and Miss Feng, they still had some reputation. If they had not needed the psychic white fox to lead the way when they entered the Heaven Eye mountain range, they would not have become enemies with a five-star Do Huang for no reason. However, since they had already done so, there was naturally no way to change things. The three of them exchanged glances. Immediately, they nodded slightly and decided not to continue getting entangled in this matter. Their bodies moved and formed a triangular shape, surrounding Nalan Yanran. Powerful deep yellow Do Qi surged out of their bodies. Ground Drawing Prison the hands of the three of them violently landed on the ground. The land shook and the soil rapidly churned. Rock fragments shot out. In the blink of an eye, 
A cage that was formed from the soil broke out of the ground and trapped Nalan Yanran within. Nalan Yanran knit her brows upon seeing this. Her feet pressed on the ground and her lovely body was like a spinning top that swiftly rotated. Sharp sword aura shot in all directions and viciously cut at the cage, causing many cut lines to quickly appear. The three yellow-clothed men fiercely slammed their hands on the ground when they saw that the cage was swiftly collapsing under Nalan Yanran's hands. Three yellow-colored spears, created from mud, immediately shot out of the ground. After which, they were quickly grabbed by the three of them. Their feet stomped on the ground as they shot toward Nalan Yanran in the middle. Nalan Yanran did not dare to slight the combined attack of three four-star Do Huangs. The longsword in her hand was wrapped by powerful sword aura as it trickily and viciously pierced out in a lightning-like manner. Four figures exchanged blows within the cage in a lightning-like manner. Sword aura spread everywhere, forming numerous deep gullies in the ground. The three yellow-clothed men seemed to be aware of the sharpness of Nalan Yanran's sword aura. Therefore, they did not forcefully attack. Instead, they relied on their long-lasting ground affinity Do Qi to slowly exhaust her Do Qi. Nalan Yanran was similarly aware of the exhaustion tactic the three had adopted. However, she did not have any means to deal with it. These three people were cooperating extremely well and had firmly restricted her from the beginning. This caused her to lack even the slightest opportunity to rest. If this were to be prolonged, Dochi deficiency would result in the interior of her body. The longsword pierced into the three spear tips in a lightning-like manner. Nalan Yanran's pretty face turned cold as sharp sword auras suddenly shot out. Three mud spears were blown apart when they were struck by the sword aura. However, before Nalan Yanran could continue pressing her attack, the ground shook and an enormous sharp mud pillar shot out, causing her to hurriedly withdraw. When Nalan Yanran's body landed, the three people on a cross from her formed more long spears. A deep yellow armor had also appeared on their bodies at this moment, covering them with firm protection. Ground affinity chi methods usually specialized in being long-lasting defenses. You are worthy of being a five-star Do Huang by being so troublesome to deal with. However, it will end here. With the Do Qi in your body, it is likely that you will not be able to endure for long. Hand the psychic white fox over to us and we will let you off. A low, deep sound was emitted from the deep yellow armor. You can use these words to trick a three-year-old child. Nalan Yanran coldly laughed when she heard this. She was no longer that young lady from back then. Her experience in the Central Plains during these years had also allowed her to understand quite a lot of principles. Stubborn fool. You're seeking death. The three of them became impatient when they saw that Nalan Yanran still would not submit. Their hands faced each other from a distance and six deed yellow-colored Do Qi light pillars shot out. Immediately, they transformed into a triangular shape of encircling light. The spirit of land, earth melting skill. The three people cried out sharply. Deep yellow Do Qi swiftly agglomerated in front of one of them. That powerful Do Qi, that had gathered the strength of the three of them, caused even Nalan Yanran to change her expression. When the cry sounded, the deep yellow Do Qi swiftly became distorted. Immediately, it transformed into a ferocious earth dragon. It let out a roar and transformed into a light ray with a bang. Finally, it shot straight toward Nalan Yanran. A deep gully appeared on the empty ground where it passed, appearing like a bull plowing the fields. This earth-melting skill of the ground spirit gate does possess some uniqueness. The man on the tree branch glanced at the earth dragon in front of him and softly said. Nalan Yanran clenched her silver teeth as she looked at the earth dragon ferociously shooting over. Her hand tossed the little white fox on her shoulders aside, and a deep green-colored dochi swiftly formed a wind wall in front of her. The earth dragon collided with the wind wall. The sharp wind blades that comprised the wall cut the earth dragon until it repeatedly trembled. However, this did not successfully stop the earth dragon's attack. Both parties continued in this state for a moment before the wind wall exploded with a bang. Nalan Yanran was revealed to the earth dragon when the wind wall burst apart. It immediately roared at the former as its ferocious mouth bit down at Nalan Yanran's head. Nalan Yanran's pretty face became slightly pale when she saw the Earth Dragon in close proximity. 
She was just about to use her Dou Qi when she was shocked to realize that her body had been entwined by an unusual black-colored energy. A sharp wind forming a fist shot over from the dense fog a short distance away just when the Earth Dragon was about to pounce onto Nalan Yenren. It immediately smashed into the Earth Dragon. It shook before transforming into light spots that burst apart. The sudden unexpected change surprised everyone. This included the man in the tree branch. He threw his somewhat shocked eyes toward the spot where the fist wind had been emitted. Who is it? I am Huang Tian from the Ground Spirit Gate. Friend, please do not meddle in other people's business. The yellow-clothed man swept his gaze cautiously around him as he spoke with a deep voice. Aren't you afraid of throwing away the face of the Ground Spirit Gate by having so many men bully a girl? A mocking laugh was emitted from the dense fog. Immediately, soft footsteps sounded. A moment later, a skinny figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Nalan Yanren, who was still in a state of shock, raised her head as she looked at the figure that was slowly walking out of the dense fog. She was just about to voice her thanks when she saw that face. Her body immediately stiffened. Her entire mind also seemed to have stilled at this moment. It was a long while later before she softly spoke the name which was hidden deep in her memory, with some difficulty and disbelief. Xiao. Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled slightly as he looked at the pretty face, filled with disbelief. His voice had become much gentler as he softly asked, Are you alright? Those matters back then had completely vanished the moment the misty cloud sect had disbanded. Xiao Yan was not a narrow-minded person. He had gradually forgotten those matters. When he recalled them now, he could only describe them as the frivolousness of youth. Nalan Yanren was also a little startled at the gentle manner in which Xiao Yan spoke. She had seldom seen Xiao Yan speak to her in such a calm manner. After all, she was aware of just what kind of trouble and harm that the events back then had brought to this prideful man. I'm fine. Thank you. Nalan Yanran's pretty eyes flickered slightly while she shook her head and softly replied. It seems that this friend really want to act like a hero rescuing a beauty. The expressions of the three yellow-clothed men sank when they saw Xiao Yan ignore them right from the beginning. The one who called himself Huang Tian earlier confronted him with a gloomy voice. Get lost. Xiao Yan did not shift his eyes even a little as he softly spoke. After which, he slowly walked to Nalan Yanran's side and glanced at the black-colored energy that was entwined around her body. He involuntarily laughed with a soft cold voice. Darkness affinity Do Qi is really rare. However, you actually launched a sneak attack despite your strength. This is really rather disdainful. Xiao Yan grabbed Nalan Yanran's snow white wrist after saying those words. A wisp of jade green flame surfaced on the tip of his finger before it shot out in a lightning like manner. In the face of Xiao Yan's swiftly flicked finger, the black-colored energy which entwined around Nalan Yanran's body appeared like snow that had met fire as it swiftly melted. The man in deep yellow clothes on the tree branch narrowed his eyes as he looked at Xiao Yan below. This was especially the case when he saw him easily expel the black-colored energy on Nalan Yanran's body, causing his eyes to involuntarily shrink a little more. As the black-colored energy on her body gradually disappeared, Nalan Yanran also once again recovered her freedom and gently opened her palm. Seeing this, Xiao Yan also hurriedly released his hand. He was just about to speak when Nalan Yanran's expression changed slightly. She hurriedly cried, Be careful. Xiao Yan, who was facing Nalan Yanran, smiled. He immediately turned his body around and his heavy ruler appeared in his hand. The heavy ruler contained a powerful wind as it was violently swung. The black ruler violently smashed into three long spears. The powerful force shattered the long spears into pieces. Seeing this, a shock surfaced within the hearts of Huang Tian and the other two. They threw aside the spear handles in their hands and swiftly pulled back. Xiao Yan's eyes indifferently swept over the three of them. The heavy ruler in his hand was inserted into the ground. His feet stomped on the ground and a wind lightning sound appeared. His body also strangely disappeared. Huang Tian and the other two were startled when they saw Xiao Yan disappear in a strange manner. They were just about succeed in positioning their backs to face each other to protect themselves when a ghost-like figure appeared in front of them. Sharp wind made of fists suddenly arrived and viciously landed on the armor on the surface of their bodies. 
The fists landed heavily on the three of them. At the same time, a terrifying force came pouring out. Those three were just like kites whose strings had broken. They flew backwards before colliding into a couple of large trees. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out of each of their mouths. Defeating three four stars Do Huangs with just a single move. Nalan Yanran's hand involuntarily covered her red lips when she saw this scene. Immediately, her gaze was filled with complexity while looking at that skinny back. This young man, whom she once thought of as trash, had walked ahead of her. All she could do was look up to him. It was the case a couple of years ago and it was still the case now that a couple of years had passed. Huang Tian and the other two curled together on the ground like prawns, moaning. The armor on their bodies had been shattered by one punch from Xiao Yan. They could not understand just why they were unable to even withstand a blow from this brat with their strength. It was likely that one could hardly find any people even in the entire northern regions of the central plains who could do this. The fellow in front of them. Just where did he come from? An applause was suddenly transmitted from the tree branch above. A man with a scar on his face slowly stood up. His gaze was focused on Xiao Yan as he revealed an ugly smile. Not bad. You are called Xiao Yan. May I ask if the one who has a conflict with the Wind Lightning Pavilion is you? Xiao Yan glanced at the scarred man before narrowing his eyes. This person was extremely strong. There was a vast difference in strength between him and those three earlier. Xiao Yan, be careful. He is very strong. Nalan Yanran's hand gently beckoned to the dense fog, and a white figure flashed and appeared. After which, it pounced into her embrace, transforming into a cute white fox. She spoke in a worried voice while hugging this white fox. Why are they attacking you? Xiao Yan nodded and asked. There is a natural maze outside of the Heaven Eye Mountain. If a person who isn't aware of it walks in, it is likely that he will be trapped within it until the energy tide is over. This psychic white fox of mine is immune to the maze. One will be able to successfully walk out of the maze if one follows it. They are attacking me because they wish to snatch the white fox away. Nalan Yanran's hand gently rubbed the soft fur of the white fox as she softly explained. Xiao Yan only came to a sudden understanding upon hearing this. It was unexpected that there was actually a maze in front. Fortunately, he did not randomly barge in. Otherwise, even with his spiritual perception, it was likely that he would be trapped for a long while. The thing which he really could not afford to waste now was time. I am not interested in your white fox. I don't need such a thing. However, these three fellows need it. The man with a knife scar spoke indifferently. I have some old friendship with a person from the ground spirit gate. He had instructed me to bring these people to the front of the maze before we left. My method is a secret of the faction and cannot be shared with others. Therefore, I can only find a psychic white fox to lead them. We will not hand the white fox to you. Please leave. Xiao Yan smiled slightly to the scarred man as he spoke. I, Wang Chen, is not someone who can be so easily dispatched. The scarred man parted his mouth and grinned. There was a faint dense feeling within it. Wang Chen? The Yellow Spring Pavilion's Wang Chen? Nalan Yanran involuntarily exclaimed when those words sounded. Her pretty face also changed a little. Yellow Spring Pavilion? Xiao Yan was also startled. Immediately he broke into a smile. He had met people from three of the four pavilions along the way, and wondered when he would meet someone from the so-called Fallen Star Pavilion. Xiao Yan, why don't we hand the white fox to them? This Wang Chen is extremely bloodthirsty. Moreover, he is very strong. It is likely that he is already the peak of the Dou Huang class. According to rumors, he had once fought with some Dou Zong class old demon and did not die. Nalan Yanran bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth. She struggled for a moment before finally spoke hesitantly. She did not wish to drag Xiao Yan into this mess. How will we pass through the maze without the white fox? Xiao Yan turned his head and glanced at Nalan Yanran. He seemed to be aware of her concern as he grinned and said, Relax, leave him to me. Nalan Yanran was stunned when she saw the smile of the young man. For some unknown reason, her heart felt a firm and safe feeling. All she could do was gently nod her head. You can forget about the white fox. If you want it, we will just have to see if you have the ability. The smile on Xiao Yan's face had become much dimmer. 
His hand slowly grabbed the heavy Zan ruler beside him as he spoke. The smile on Wang Chen's face involuntarily became denser upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. Anyone familiar with him knew that each time he happily smiled, was the time when the killing intent within his heart had become extremely dense. I have met with Tang Ying from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion not long ago and exchanged blows with him. He said there would be a person even more fun to play with behind. I think that he was talking about you. Wang Chen slowly lowered his hand. A dense, black-colored energy swiftly lingered over it. He looked at Xiao Yan as his bright red tongue licked his lips. An instant later, his eyes suddenly turned dark. In that case, allow me to see if you are as fun to play with as he described. Wang Chen's body suddenly transformed into a black line that shot out after his words sounded. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Xiao Yan. His fist, which was covered with black energy, carried a bloody wind as it struck towards Xiao Yan's heart without any fancy moves. Be careful, Nalin Yanren hurriedly reminded when she saw Wang Chen suddenly attack. A black figure flashed and stood in front of Xiao Yan like a shield in a lightning-like manner. The fist immediately smashed into it, emitting deep sound. Corpse eroding hand. His fist swiftly spread and transformed into a kind of permeating dark black color. It strangely bypassed the enormous ruler and headed for Xiao Yan's throat. Wang Chen's attack trajectory was somewhat strange. It swayed all around, appearing like a wooden doll that was not being controlled. It did not appear fast, but it caused one to have a strange feeling of having a difficult time dodging it. Xiao Yan's gaze was intently watching the dark black hand, which was quickly being magnified in his eyes. An instant later, his eyes coagulated. A jade green flame surged onto his fist without hesitation before he threw a punch out. The fist struck the dark black hand in an extremely accurate manner. The hot flame caused Wang Chen's hand to emit a dense, white smoke. In the face of a heavenly flame, the corrosive properties of Wang Chen's darkness affinity Dou Qi were completely ineffective. The powerful collision brought about a strong airwave that spread apart with a bang. It struck the enormous trees nearby until their trunks were snapped apart. The ground had thus become a complete mess. Heavenly Flame. The exchange of the fists continued for an instant before Wang Chen's expression changed. His feet hurriedly pulled back and the Dou Qi within his body surged. Immediately, he forced out the small wisp of jade green flame from his palm. His expression gradually became gloomy when he saw that flame. Xiao Yan's finger flicked the heavy Zan ruler, returning it to his storage ring. He glanced at Wang Chen. This person was indeed strong. However, he was not much a threat from Xiao Yan's perspective. Although darkness affinity Dou Qi was strange and unpredictable, it was miserably suppressed in the face of a heavenly flame. If they were to really fight, Xiao Yan was confident he had a 70% of killing this person. Wang Chen smiled in a dark, cold manner. He did not even look at Huang Tian and the two others as his body withdrew and entered the dense fog. A voice was slowly emitted as he did so. No wonder Tang Ying thinks so highly of you. You do possess some ability. Today's matter will end here. I will wait for you on the Heaven Mountain stage and see if you have the ability to arrive there. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed as he stared at the spot where Wang Chen had disappeared. He was indeed worthy of being a person from the four pavilions. It was unexpected that his vicious words were so similar to the others. Behind Xiao Yan, Nalan Yanren looked at Wang Chen who had swiftly withdrawn after only a brief exchange. Her pretty eyes contained some shock. Wang Chen's name was quite well known. One could hardly find anyone who was a match for him in the same generation. Moreover, this fellow was bloodthirsty and addicted to fights. Additionally, he had an outstanding training talent and his strength grew extremely quickly. By relying on the strength of the Yellow Spring Pavilion, he liked to fight with some experts of the Dozong class. The other person, being afraid of the Yellow Spring Pavilion's strength, was afraid of really killing him. Hence, Wang Chen's name became more and more renowned as time passed. In the end, there was even rumors of him possessing the strength to fight with a Dozong. No one knew whether this rumor was real. Regardless of whether it was real, the strength of this Wang Chen was something that there was no need to doubt. However, Nalan Yanren did not expect that after only a single brief exchange, 
this bloodthirsty abnormal fellow would be scared away by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was unaware of the shock within Nalan Yanran's heart at this moment. His gaze turned to Huang Tian and the two others a short distance away as he indifferently demanded, Why are you still here? Hearing this, Huang Tian and the two others hurriedly struggled to climb to their feet and fled. Wang Chen's withdrawal had caused them to completely lose any confidence they had. By being able to frighten off the renowned Wang Chen, this person's strength had already far exceeded the level they could contend against. Xiao Yan only exhaled gently after watching Huang Tian and the two others flee in misery. He turned around and looked at Nalan Yanren. For an instant, he didn't know just what he should say. The atmosphere immediately became one that was embarrassingly silent. Nalan Yanren naturally did not say anything in the face of this quiet atmosphere. Her hand gently rubbed the smooth fur of the white fox while her eyes were lowered. You, are you also planning to head to the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool? The silence continued for a moment before Xiao Yan finally coughed and took the initiative to speak, breaking the silence as he did so. Yes, although I know that it is extremely difficult for me to obtain one of the ten spots with my strength, this trip here could be considered training. Nalan Yanren nodded slightly and softly answered. Xiao Yan rubbed his hand and suddenly felt a little constrained. He hesitated for a moment before asking, You, why are you here alone? The hand Nalan Yanren was using to rub the white fox paused. She raised her pretty eyes for the first time, looked at Xiao Yan, and said, Teacher is undertaking a retreat to train. Hence, I have come out alone to gain experience. Have the both of you been all right during these years? Xiao Yan gaze was drifting as he inquired. Nalan Yanren smiled when she saw this. She softly asked, Do you want to ask about teacher, right? Xiao Yan's body unnoticeably stiffened. He gently exhaled and asked, Is she well? Nalan Yanran's eyes dimmed when she heard this. She nodded and replied, Teacher is very well. Is she also in the northern region of the Central Plains? Xiao Yan asked once again. His voice had become a little heated. The scene of the sadness and struggle of her back when they were parting ways back then suddenly surfaced in his mind. Regardless of who was right or wrong back then, the Misty Cloud Sect was ultimately destroyed by Xiao Yan's hands. Being the sect leader of the Misty Cloud Sect, Yun Yun could not escape the enmity arising from the destruction of her sect and the killing of her teacher. However, she was unable to hurt Xiao Yan. Finally, Yun Yun, who could not bear to face the situation, could only choose to leave the empire she had lived in for many years, wandering other lands. Xiao Yan's heart felt an unknown pain the moment he thought about her. Yun Yun was not wrong from the beginning. The thing that was wrong was both parties' position. Right from the start, she was the one who had been hurt the most. Moreover, she had been roaming other lands during these years. Although she was quite strong, it was likely that she, as a lady, must have suffered quite a lot. Nalan Yanren chose to remain silent in the face of Xiao Yan's question. It was a long while later before she finally said, Teacher instructed me before I left that I am not allowed to tell anyone where she currently is. Especially you. Xiao Yan was stunned when he heard this. He immediately let out a bitter laugh. This woman. It's fine if you don't tell me. Everything's alright if she is fine. Xiao Yan sighed. He shook his head and expelled the emotions within his heart. After which, he smiled and said to Nalan Yanren, I am also heading to that Heaven Mountain blood pool. If you wish, you can follow me. Won't I be a burden to you? Nalan Yanran's eyes brightened before she asked with some concern. I am completely unfamiliar with this Heaven Eye mountain range. At the very least, you do know something about it. I will be able to worry less if you are around. Xiao Yan spread his hands as he replied. Okay. Nalan Yanran's hand gently rubbed the white fox. She hesitated for a moment before gently nodding. This place is already close to the Heaven Eye mountain. It is likely that we will be able to reach the foot of the Heaven Eye Mountain after a short while. There is a natural maze there. However, we possess the psychic white fox and need not be too worried about it. Two figures were swiftly traveling through a forest covered by dense fog when a clear woman's voice was softly emitted. Xiao Yan nodded. It was indeed more convenient with someone leading the way. Entering the Heaven Eye Mountain does not mean that we are safe. Instead, it is even more dangerous because the entire Heaven Eye mountain range is being controlled by a powerful magical beast tribe. 
Nalan Yanran's eyes slide over as she glanced at Xiao Yan, who was listening attentively by her side. Her attractive manner was filled with allure. Magical beast tribe. What is their strength like? Xiao Yan was startled and he immediately frowned. This magical beast tribe is called the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe. Although most of them are ordinary rank 2 to 3 magical beasts, their numbers are so great that it is quite frightening. Of course, the true core of the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe are still those members who can transform into human form. They are the true controllers of the Heaven Eye Mountain. It is rumored that the tribe leader of this tribe has also reached rank 7. His strength is comparable to an elite 6 star Dozong. Nalan Yanran whispered. With such a magical beast tribe occupying the Heaven Eye Mountain, how can people enjoy this Heaven Mountain blood pool? It is likely that such a unique thing also possesses a great attraction to magical beast, no? Xiao Yan doubtfully inquired. They do wish to dominate it. However, do you think that the other human factions would agree? Nalan Yanran covered her mouth and softly laughed. She said, back then, a big battle erupted in this Heaven Eye Mountain range because of the matter of the Heaven Mountain blood pool. In the end, it was naturally the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe who lost. Why would they dare to monopolize the Heaven Mountain blood pool? Although they had lost, those overly strong experts were unable to enter the Heaven Eye Mountain range due to some special effect of the terrain. As a result of these factions being afraid that the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe would viciously attack their younger generations, they finally came to an agreement. The Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe would occupy two of the ten spots in the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool. Only the other eight spots are available for everyone to use if their ability to fight for them is sufficient. 8. Xiao Yan immediately knit his brows when he heard this. It was unexpected that the situation was even grimmer than he had expected. It was already not easy to be one of the ten. Now, two of them were already occupied. The difficulty of the competition was soaring. There is no choice. The Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe has the geographical advantage. Actually, they were quite displeased in their hearts. In the past, they were able to occupy all ten spots. Now, it has shrunk by five times. Nalan Yanran laughed. According to the agreement, the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe can place a checkpoint at the Heaven Eye Mountain Range and block those who wish to ascend to the top. They can do as they please as long as they do not threaten the lives of those people. Nevertheless, they must gather eight human experts. Hence, it is best not to offend a member of the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe once we enter the Heaven Eye Mountain. This is because they are able to decide the requirements of allowing people to ascend to the top. Nalan Yanran's pretty face became quite solemn near end of her explanation. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and nodded. It was unexpected that there were so many issues. Originally, he thought that whoever reached the top of the mountain first would be able to enjoy the Heaven Mountain blood pool. Without realizing it, the surrounding fog had become much fainter while the two of them were conversing. A moment later, a row of orderly towering trees suddenly appeared in their sight. There was only a tree door which allowed only one person to pass through among the enormous trees. In front of this row of trees were over ten human figures. Clearly, they were all people who had thoughts about the Heaven Mountain blood pool. The ten-plus people turned around and glanced at Xiao Yan upon seeing that there were new people who had arrived. Immediately, their gazes solidified on the small white fox in Nalan Yanran's embrace. Psychic white fox. Numerous joyous cries sounded. All the gazes suddenly turned to Nalan Yanran. Those who stopped here were unaware of a method to crack the maze. The sudden appearance of the psychic white fox immediately lit their despairing hearts. Nalan Yanran's pretty face changed a little upon being stared at by so many heated gazes. She hugged the white fox and gently took a step back. Follow me. There is no need to be afraid. Xiao Yan faintly reassured her. Immediately, Do Qi surged out of his body. The strength of a nine-star Do Huang surged out of his body without any restraint. The powerful aura immediately suppressed those people who were about to make trouble. The strength of these people were mostly around that of a five-star Do Hong or below. There was too much of a gap when compared with a nine-star Do Huang. Anyone who enters a ten-meter radius of us will be killed. Xiao Yan's eyes coldly and slowly swept around him. A voice that contained killing intent was gently emitted, causing everyone's faces to change. Their eyes began to struggle. 
Xiao Yan's feet slowly walked on this ground that was filled with weathered yellow leaves. The soft, sha sha sound had become the only noise in this region. Nalan Yanren followed close behind Xiao Yan. The surrounding malicious eyes caused her hands to be filled with cold perspiration. If these ten plus elite Do Huangs were to attack, it was likely that even Xiao Yan would have to temporarily take shelter. The surrounding atmosphere became more tense as Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren approached the trees. The slight sound of footsteps appeared to have stepped on everyone's hearts, causing them to feel their breathing stagnate. Xiao Yan's footsteps gently landed. He looked at the trees, which were less than 10 meters from him, and was just about to sigh in relief when his eyes slowly narrowed into a dangerous arc. At the same time, a savage, cold cry suddenly sounded. Everyone, let's attack together. Once we snatch that white fox over, we will be able to have a share of the Heaven Mountain blood pool. The tense atmosphere was broken following the savage cry. The struggle within the eyes of quite a number of people was replaced by a dense greed at this moment. The Heaven Mountain Blood Pool possessed an enormous allure to them. However, if they did not have the psychic white fox to lead the way, it was impossible for them to break out of the maze. Hence, although they clearly knew that Xiao Yan was strong, they could only go all out and risk it because of the allure of the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool. The greed in everyone's eyes had just appeared when deep, muffled sound suddenly appeared. Immediately, Everyone was stunned to see the human figure that was the first to charge forward flew back like a kite whose string had been cut. Finally, the figure violently collided with an enormous tree. The powerful force caused the enormous tree to form a couple of fist-sized cracks. The towering tree also began to wobble. The human figure that landed on the ground immediately spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. His expression had instantaneously turned pale. His gaze contained a little shock and viciousness as he looked at the spot where Xiao Yan was located. No one managed to clearly see just what happened in the split-second event. All they could see was that an unlucky fellow, who had been the first to break the tense atmosphere, suffered a fierce attack the moment he took a step forward. From the looks of it, the one who attacked was clearly the indifferent-looking young man. I will not hold back the next time. Xiao Yan's footsteps gently paused. His gaze stared at the tree door as his mouth slowly spat out some words that were filled with a stern killing intent. The throats of quite a number of people rolled upon hearing these words. The greed that had just surged from their hearts had also paled a little because of the shock. They looked at each other and none of them dared to attack first. If he is allowed to enter the maze, everyone will have to wait three years before one can gain such an opportunity again. If we can successfully charge in, we might still have a chance. As long as we can enter the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool, everything would be worth it. The clans and sects that everyone is in will definitely put in a great amount of effort to groom us. Our treatment would be much better than now. What great thing can one achieve by being so afraid? A furious cry that was filled with incitement once again sounded while the greed in everyone's hearts was quietly weakening. Xiao Yan's eyes had turned unusually dark, cold at this moment. He slowly turned his head and looked at the person who had spoken. It was surprisingly still the person from earlier. The heart of the person immediately chilled when he saw Xiao Yan look over. He wiped off the blood on the corner of his mouth, took a couple of steps back, and swept his gaze around. He only let out a dark, cold smile when he saw that greed had once again surged in everyone's eyes. However, before the dark, cold smile, that had appeared on his face, could completely form, his body suddenly stiffened. This was because he saw a figure swiftly appearing in front of him in a ghost-like manner. Xiao Yan's sinister face was also swiftly magnified in his eyes. The eyes of the person, who had spoken, narrowed when he saw Xiao Yan appear. Being a Dou Huang, his reaction was quite quick. His feet stomped on the ground and a rock pillar suddenly protruded from the ground. The rock pillar was in front of his feet, and with a push, he shot backwards. The heart of the person who spoke sighed in relief as he sensed the sound of wind beside his ear. He sternly cried out, What is everyone waiting for? Although this fellow is a nine-star Do Hong, he is definitely no match for all of us together. His voice suddenly halted, and his body suddenly stiffened. His eyes narrowed as he slowly lowered his head, only to see a hand, filled with a jade-green flame, viciously penetrating the back of his heart like a sharp blade. 
The high temperature of the flame prevented the hand from touching even a drop of blood. Xiao Yan's expression was cold after killing this person with one strike. He could sense that the greed in the eyes of those fellows around had been completely stirred. The flame on Xiao Yan's hand surged out and instantly incinerated the corpse of this person into ashes. His body moved and had already arrived beside Nalan Yanren in the next moment. After grabbing her, he charged to the tree door in a lightning-like manner. The dozens of meters in distance was not far. With Xiao Yan's speed, he covered it within the blink of an eye. Just when his body was about to move, the ground around the tree door instantly began to shake. Over a dozen enormous sharp wooden pillars, agglomerated from Dou Qi, broke free from the ground and coincidentally sealed off the tree door. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and looked at the wooden pillars blocking the tree door. He waved his sleeves and a jade green flame shot out in a lightning-like manner. It easily destroyed all of it. While he was swiftly running, Xiao Yan clenched his hand and the heavy Zan ruler appeared. Xiao Yan had just destroyed the wooden pillar when the ground shook. A countless number of rock spikes explosively shot out from under Xiao Yan's feet. Be careful. Nalan Yanren hurriedly reminded him upon seeing the spikes. Her voice had just sounded when she sensed something tighten around her delicate waist. After which, her body flew out, rushed past the rock spike region in the blink of an eye, and landed outside of the tree door. An ear-piercing rushing wind sound suddenly appeared when her body landed. Numerous energy pillars, that contained powerful wind, smashed viciously toward Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. Xiao Yan was expressionless. He held the heavy ruler tightly in his hand and began to swing it around. Layer after layer of ruler images immediately appeared and formed a ruler shadow defense in front of him, which wind could not even pass through. Numerous Dou Qi attacks landed on the ruler's shadow defense, emitting wave after wave of clear explosions. The ruler shadows were also greatly reduced, and were just about to disappear when even more ruler shadows appeared. They were packed in an extremely dense manner that formed endlessly. The dark black ruler's shadow defense was just like a black circular barrier, covering Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. The fierce attacks could only cause the defensive barrier to ripple a little. The display of the six joint body flowing ruler with Xiao Yan's current strength was something that these fellows had difficulty destroying. Moreover, this ruler technique's defense was a continuous one and was unafraid of the other party's superior numbers. Everyone's heart involuntarily became chilled when the last Dou Qi attack was blocked by the Black Ruler Shadow. Although this person was a 9-star Dou Huang, there were nearly 20 Dou Huangs on their side. Yet they were unable to break the other party's defense despite attacking together. A 9-star Dou Huang might be strong, but it was likely quite difficult to reach such a stage, no? The black-colored Ruler Shadow slowly disappeared. Immediately, the figure of the young man that caused everyone's heart to feel a chill once again appeared. A pair of dark black, emotionless eyes slowly lifted. Anyone glanced at with these eyes would feel the chilly feeling of being stared at by a poisonous snake. Go in first. Xiao Yan had his back to Nalan Yanren as he softly said. Nalan Yanren was startled when she heard this. She obediently nodded and said, I will wait for you at the entrance of the maze. Do not walk around randomly after you enter. Be careful. Xiao Yan titled his head. Seeing this, Nalan Yanren, holding the white fox, carefully withdrew to where the tree door was. After which, she entered it in front of everyone's fiery eyes. The heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hands was slowly lifted when he saw Nalan Yanren enter. A powerful jade green Dou Qi surged out and was immediately poured into the heavy ruler. Following the pouring in of the Dou Qi, the dark black color of the heavy Zan ruler swiftly transformed into a jade green color. Everyone's expressions involuntarily changed when they sensed the powerful Dou Qi that was emitted from the heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hands. Some of the cautious ones actually began to quietly withdraw. Only now did they understand that this young person in front of them was actually a powerful fellow that was not inferior to people like Tang Ying and Wang Chen. It is too late to leave now. An icy smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face when he sensed that some people wanted to withdraw. Immediately, he focused his eyes and the heavy ruler in his hand was suddenly hacked forward. Flame splitting tsunami. A soft cry sounded in his heart and the light in this region suddenly soared. A jade green ruler glow, 
over a hundred feet in size, emitted an ear-piercing cry, like a dragon that had broken free from the surface of water. It wildly shot out, causing the entire ground to become a mess at this moment. Numerous crack lines also began to spread like an earthquake. The jade green ruler glow's speed was extremely quick. In the blink of an eye, it approached everyone. All those people could only maneuver the Do Chi within their bodies in their shock as they swiftly formed a Do Chi defense in front of them. Low and deep energy explosions sounded repeatedly in this empty ground. Miserable cries randomly sounded as numerous figures landed heavily on the ground. Their bodies rubbed across it, forming numerous long scars as they did so. The enormous trees that were broken along the way turned the area within a 50-meter radius into a mess. With Xiao Yan's current strength, by displaying the flame-splitting tsunami with all his strength, even an expert at the peak of the Dou Huang class would not dare to easily receive it forcefully. The strength of these people did not exceed that of a five-star Dou Huang. Their fates would naturally be miserable. The ruler glow slowly scattered and the shaking ground slowly stilled. Xiao Yan raised his head, and glanced at the many human figures, who had landed a hundred meters away. Painful and frightened moans could be faintly heard. These fellows would likely end up seriously injured even if they did not die this time around. Xiao Yan shook his hand and the heavy ruler was placed into his storage ring. He was just about to turn around and enter the tree door when a strange elderly laugh suddenly appeared beside him. Hey, little fellow, you are really quite vicious to have destroyed all of these fellows. However, are you planning to just leave after turning this place into such a mess? Xiao Yan's footsteps paused. He turned his head, only to see a grey-robed, old man with a somewhat humble-looking appearance standing on the tree branch beside him. The man was looking at him with a smile. Do Zong? Xiao Yan's eyes immediately narrowed after they swept over the grey-robed, old man. This person had appeared in an extremely strange manner. Even with Xiao Yan's spiritual perception, he was unable to sense him. Moreover, was it not the case that overly strong people could not enter this Heaven Eye mountain range? Why was it that this person could? Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the humble looking, gray clothed, old man. A moment later, he finally smiled, cupped his hands together, and politely inquired This old sir should be an elder of the gold swallowing mouse tribe, right? The Heaven Eye mountain range had the effect of suppressing any overly strong person from entering it. Yet the strength of this old man in front of him had already exceeded this limit. It was likely that he was not someone from the outside world. In that case, he ought to be a local expert. Additionally, the entire Heaven Eye Mountain was the territory of the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe. It was likely that this person was someone from the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe. The gray robed, old man was startled upon hearing this. He leapt down from the tree branch. He looked over Xiao Yan once before smiling and saying, Little fellow's eyesight is indeed quite good. Xiao Yan smiled. Having remembered what Nalan Yanren had told him earlier, Xiao Yan would naturally not say anything to offend this member of the gold swallowing mouse tribe. Moreover, this person was quite strong and likely possessed a high position in the clan. It was likely that one would suffer by offending him. This younger self is Xiao Yan. I have been reckless to turn this place into this manner. Hopefully, old sir would not blame me. Xiao Yan smiled. A jade bottle swiftly appeared in his hand. After which, he handed it over. These are some, qi mending pills. Although I know that these things might be nothing in old sir's eyes, they do possess quite a great effect when used to recover one's dou qi. Qi mending pill was a tier 5 expendable type medicinal pill. It had the effect of allowing a Dou Huang or a Dou Zong to recover their Dou Qi at a faster rate, and was considered a higher tier expandable medicinal pill. The grey-clothed, old man was startled upon seeing this action of Xiao Yan. However, his narrowed eyes immediately brightened when he heard the name, Qi Mending Pill. Medicinal pills were even rarer from a magical beast's perspective because only humans had alchemists. Although some magical beasts were able to refine medicinal pills by relying on their talent, they were too few in number. This qi mending pill might not be of a very high tier, but its effect of swiftly recovering one's dou qi caused the grey-robed, old man to be attracted. Hee hee, little fellow, I felt that you were very pleasing to the eye when I first saw you. The grey-robed, old man licked his lips and laughed. 
after which, he did not put up an act as he unceremoniously received the jade bottle from Xiao Yan. After which, he glanced around him, waved his hand and said, It's fine. I will get someone to clean up this place. Little fellow need not be worried. I will also help you clear some of these troublesome things. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. He cupped his hands to the grey-robed, old man and respectfully said, In that case, thank you old sir. The old me is Jin Ji Yu. Don't call me whatever old sir. The grey-clothed, old man laughed. His gaze wandered around Xiao Yan's body once before he suddenly said, Little fellow, you are an alchemist, right? Such a scent is not something that an ordinary person possesses. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment. The other party clearly had a special talent when it came to the sense of smell. Hence, he did not hide anything and gently nodded his head. Alchemist. This thing is really too rare. A strange glow flashed across the eyes of Jin Ji Yu when he saw Xiao Yan nod his head. He immediately smiled and said, You should enter first. That little girl's psychic white fox does not have a problem passing through the maze. However, there are still quite a number of obstructions if you wish to successfully reach the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool. Relax. The old me is not someone who will not work after receiving something. I will inform the others to take special care of you. Xiao Yan's heart rejoiced upon hearing this. He really did not lose out by giving away these medicinal pills. This old fellow did indeed possess quite a high position in the gold swallowing mouse tribe. Since Xiao Yan had obtained what he needed, he did not stay any longer. After cupping his hands to Jin Ji Yu, he turned around and entered the tree door. Jin Ji Yu involuntarily fondled his beard as he watched Xiao Yan disappear behind the tree door. His expression was one of deep thought while he softly muttered, This little fellow is also an alchemist, but I wonder if he has reached our requirement. If it is possible, we will be able to save quite a lot of trouble. Xiao Yan had just stepped into the tree door when the area in front of him suddenly brightened. His mind immediately felt somewhat giddy. By the time he recovered, he was stunned to realize that the surrounding space had been permeated by a layer of dense fog that could not be scattered. The density of the fog in this place was at least ten times denser than that of the fog in the mountain range. Moreover, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to feel troubled was that the fog in this place could not be penetrated by spiritual strength. When it was spread, it seemed to be met with a great obstruction, making it difficult to achieve a probing effect. As this that so-called maze, it is indeed troublesome. Xiao Yan solemnly swept his eyes around him as he softly said. Xiao Yan suddenly felt his hand turn cold when he was speaking to himself. Immediately, Nalan Yanran's gentle voice was transmitted from beside him. There is no need to panic. It's me. Xiao Yan's tensed arm slowly relaxed. His gaze followed the direction where the voice originated from and glanced over. However, he was shocked to find that there was nothing there. Yet the touch that was transmitted from his hand clearly told him that Nalan Yanran was beside him. There is no need to look. This maze can block one sight. Even though we are close together, we are still unable to see the other party's body. I will pull you with me. With the psychic white fox leading the way, it should not be too difficult to get out of this place. Nalan Yanran's voice was slowly transmitted over, aware of the doubt in Xiao Yan's heart. Xiao Yan nodded slightly upon hearing this. His heart rejoiced a little. It was fortunate that he had met Nalan Yanran along the way. Otherwise, even he would have been trapped within this maze. The dense fog permeated the maze while the gentle touch from his hand appeared just as though one was touching top quality jade. The lovely, gentle feeling caused one to feel unwilling to part with it. This caused Xiao Yan's heart to involuntarily shake. However, this kind of feeling was swiftly suppressed by Xiao Yan the moment it appeared. He immediately lowered his head in embarrassment and allowed Nalan Yanran to pull him as they slowly advanced. This quiet advancement continued for nearly half an hour before Xiao Yan sensed that the surrounding fog seemed to have gradually become much thinner. We are about to leave the maze. Beside Xiao Yan, Nalan Yanran emitted a soft voice that seemed to have placed down a heavy burden. Nalan Yanran's voice had just sounded when a wind blew over. The surrounding dense fog intensely fluctuated. They swiftly withdrew and the surrounding scene slowly appeared. An extremely majestic looking mountain peak appeared in front of Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. At this moment, the two of them were at the bottom of the halfway point. 
Enormous mice that were covered by gold hair repeatedly shuttled around on the two sides of the somewhat steep mountain road. These should be gold swallowing mouse. Do not harm them. Otherwise, it will definitely anger the gold swallowing mouse tribe. Nalan Yanran's pretty eyes looked at the large golden colored mice as she uttered a reminder. Yes. Xiao Yan tilted his head. Let's go. The halfway point is where the Heaven Mountain stage is. After that will be some checkpoint that the gold swallowing mouse tribe has placed. Only by successfully passing through them will one be able to reach the Heaven Mountain blood pool at the top. Nalan Yanran hugged the white fox while her finger pointed toward the middle of the mountain as she sweetly smiled. Heaven Mountain Stage. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed when he heard this. This place was the Heaven Mountain Stage Tang Ying had mentioned. Moreover, he had said that they might have a chance to cooperate there. It was likely that he was talking about cooperating to pass the checkpoint. There are likely quite a number of people currently present there. The checkpoints that the Gold Swallowing Mouse Tribe usually put up are quite difficult. Although those who arrive here are not weak, it is quite difficult if one wishes to break through them. Nalan Yanren laughed. Xiao Yan also smiled. There was a fiery heat in his eyes as he beamed, in that case, let's go. We should not allow others to occupy the eight spots before us. Xiao Yan's toes pressed on the steep rock stairs after his words sounded. Immediately, his body transformed into a black shadow that swiftly rushed to the middle of the mountain. Nalan Yanren quickly followed behind him. The middle of the Heaven Eye Mountain was an extremely spacious platform. The platform was built from orderly arranged stones. There were rock stairs that reached the top of the Heaven Eye Mountain on one side of the platform. However, the front of the rock stairs was currently guarded by some human-bodied gold-swallowing mouse. There were nearly 20 human figures gathered on the platform away from the rock stairs. They were divided into different sized groups. Some of them were alone. Some of them were in threes while some of them were in larger groups. These people were scattered on the platform and were whispering to one another. While doing so, their gazes would repeatedly sweep toward the steep road that led to the platform. Based on the time, the maze should be about to shut. Once the time's up and the maze closes, it would be time for them to attempt to break through the checkpoint. A colorful figure, which was exceptionally eye-catching in the human crowd with her noble phoenix-like aura, easily became one of the main characters present. This woman was naturally Miss Fung from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. While she was randomly conversing with a person beside her, the pretty eyes of this colorfully clothed lady would repeatedly sweep toward the rock stairs. The corner of her mouth contained a faint ridicule. A moment later, she gently shook her head. It seemed that she had indeed somewhat overestimated that person. It was unexpected that he was unable to even reach this heaven mountain stage. A gong sound slowly resounded over the platform while a somewhat small, old figure slowly walked out. His gaze swept over the place indifferently as he said in a somewhat weak voice, Time's up, let the attempt to break through the checkpoint begin. The colorful clothed lady completely withdrew her gaze when she heard this person open his mouth. It seemed that the person had merely relied on the powerful spirit as she had expected. However, that advantage was completely non-existent in this Heaven Eye Mountain range. The rushing sound of wind appeared while everyone's gazes were shifting. Immediately, two figures shot over from the rock stairs like two arrows. After which, they steadily landed on the platform. A cool and bright laughter was randomly emitted. Sorry, I have arrived a little later. Hopefully, I did not interrupt the checkpoint passing, did I? The pretty eyes of the colorfully clothed lady solidified upon hearing this laughter. She slowly turned her head and glanced at the smiling young face. A moment later, she could only let out a cold snort and turn her head away. Two human figures slowly descended from the air, landing on the platform. The figures who appeared were Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. They were the last to arrive. The appearance of these two people naturally attracted quite a lot of attention from those present. Numerous gazes shot toward these two people. However, most of them, with the exception of a few, were not acquainted with Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. Although Xiao Yan's name had spread far because of the recent grudge he had with the Wind Lightning Pavilion, there was still a little gap between him and Miss Feng, Tang Ying, and the other outstanding individuals from the younger generation in the hearts of some people. Xiao Yan appeared to have not sensed these gazes. His eyes swept over the place. 
Upon seeing that there were nearly twenty figures present, his heart was involuntarily a little startled. It was unexpected that these people's speed was all so fast. He was unable to catch up with them despite traveling through the night. Of course, most of the reason for this was because Xiao Yan was unfamiliar with the route. The people present mostly had a great understanding of the Heaven Eye mountain range. Moreover, they were also clearly aware of some shortcuts. Compared to them, Xiao Yan, who was unfamiliar with the place, was naturally at a greater disadvantage. If he had not ended up meeting Nalan Yanran at the last minute, it was likely that he would have difficulty arriving at this place in time. While Xiao Yan's gaze was sweeping around, he managed to see a couple of familiar figures. His eyes first paused on Miss Feng, whose body permeated a noble aura. This woman's appearance was not inferior to Nalan Yanran. Moreover, her demeanor was something that gave certain men the desire to subdue her. Miss Feng, who was a short distance away, also seemed to have sensed the focus of Xiao Yan's gaze. Her eyes moved and stared at Xiao Yan. There was a slight provocation within her eyes. The matter between Xiao Yan and the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion had become quite a big issue. In the end, even Fei Tian failed to successfully capture him. This caused the Wind Lightning Pavilion to lose a great amount of face. If she were able to capture him and hand him to be Northern Pavilion this time around, the Northern Pavilion would owe her a favor. They might end up being a great help in the fight for the successor of the pavilion chief. The corner of Miss Fang's mouth was involuntarily lifted when she thought about this. It seemed that she really cannot let this person off. If he were allowed to successfully leave the Heaven Eye mountain range, he would be able to borrow the help of the powerful spirit. At that time, even she would have difficulty contending against him. Since you have delivered yourself to me, this miss shall unceremoniously accept you. Xiao Yan was naturally unable to tell just what this woman was thinking in her heart. Even if he was aware of it, he would merely scoff. Perhaps he was indeed afraid of those old fellows from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. However, there were extremely few people from the same generation who could force him into an extremely miserable state. At the very least, he had never met someone since he had first started training. Xiao Yan's gaze shifted away from Miss Feng before pausing on two other figures. He had met these two people within the mountain range. They were Tang Ying from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion and Wang Chen from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Tang Ying smiled and nodded slightly when he felt Xiao Yan's eyes. On the other hand, Wang Chen's face was dark. His eyes carried a chilly look. He seemed to dislike Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan also nodded to Tang Ying and completely ignored Wang Chen. He was about to withdraw his gaze when the corner of his eyes suddenly caught a green-colored figure. This girl appeared to be the youngest on the platform. She was wearing green clothes and her watery intelligent eyes appeared exceptionally cute. Her moving face still faintly contained a tenderness and naivety. She was a complete mismatch with the present environment. Be careful of that girl. She is not as simple as she appears on the surface. A soft voice was emitted from Nalan Yanran's mouth beside him while Xiao Yan was observing the girl. Why? Xiao Yan spoke without a change in his expression. Because she is the most outstanding person among the younger generation in the Falling Star Pavilion. Nalan Yanran slowly said. Falling Star Pavilion? Mu Qing Luan? Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed. He had also heard a little about the most outstanding member of the younger generation from the four pavilions. Yes. The number of disciples within the Falling Star Pavilion is perhaps the least among the four pavilions. However, all of them possess outstanding abilities, yet this Mu Qing Luan was the top among them. Additionally, she might appear like a little girl on the outside, but she looked the same a couple of years ago. There has not been the slightest change in her appearance during these years. Needless to say, she is extremely strong. Nalan Yanran nodded as she explained. Surprise involuntarily flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this. The disciples from the four pavilions all did indeed live up to their reputations. However, he found that it was only normal after thinking about it. With the four pavilions being such large factions along with the shocking talent that these people possessed, it was not too unbelievable for these people to possess such an achievement. Mu Qing Luan suddenly turned her head while Xiao Yan was focusing on her. She gave him a crafty smile. Seeing this, Xiao Yan smiled and nodded to her with an impassive face. 
When Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren entered the platform, the small, old man near the rock stairs also glanced at the former. Immediately, he said in a slow manner, The old me is the tribe leader of the gold swallowing mouse tribe, Jin Shi. Since all of you have arrived at this place, I think that none of you are ordinary people. You should clearly be aware that only by passing through the checkpoints that we have set will you be able to obtain the remaining eight places. There were two enormous mice with dark gold hair on the two sides of Jin Shi. These two gold swallowing mice's size were exceptionally large. Moreover, there was an intelligence and consciousness that was not inferior to a human flickering within their eyes. These two gold swallowing mice were clearly rank 6 and should be the other two chosen ones to enter the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool this time around. As long as they could break through the Do Huang class and undergo the Lightning Tribulation, they would be able to transform into human form and become a true core member of the Gold Swallowing Mouse tribe. Only the weak voice of Jin Shi sounded on the platform. Although this old man might appear very weak, no one present dared to offend him. Other than Xiao Yan, it was likely that everyone present was familiar with this name Jin Shi. Back then, this old fellow had revealed his might in the big battle for the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool. Even Fei Tian and those old demons of his level were unable to defeat him. From this, one could tell just how powerful this person's strength was. Xiao Yan's gaze paused on Jin Shi body. A moment later, he slightly knit his brows. From his voice, Xiao Yan could vaguely hear that Jin Shi seemed to possess quite a serious injury within his body. Moreover, this injury did not appear to be a new one. Instead, it was something that came as a result of long-term accumulation. Jin Shi's eyes swept indifferently across the entire platform. After coughing, he suddenly waved his sleeves. One could only see the rock stairs that led to the mountain top behind him suddenly moved. Immediately gold-colored gold swallowing mouse appeared in a densely packed manner. There were so many of them that it caused one's head to feel numb just looking at them. The checkpoint selection this time around is not very difficult. There is only one of them. As long as one is able to successfully reach the mountaintop amid the sonic wave of this mouse tide, one would be considered to have successfully passed. Jin Shi pointed at the dense mouse tide behind him and spoke indifferently. The expressions of quite a number of people present changed when they heard this. Quite a number of private conversations broke out on the platform. Xiao Yan was startled when he saw the reaction of the people around. He just began to have some doubts when Nalan Yanren beside him softly explained. The gold swallowing mouse tribe specialize in sonic wave attacks. If the sonic wave from such a large mouse tide was to be emitted together, it is likely that even an expert Do Huang would have difficulty enduring it. Looks like there won't be many people who will be able to pass. Xiao Yan only came to a sudden understanding upon hearing this. Sonic wave attack, huh? It was indeed a little unorthodox. Jin Shi ignored the present commotion. He raised his eyes and said, I will give all of you five minutes of preparation time. After which, the sound wave formation will be activated. Whether you will be able to successfully pass through will depend on your own abilities. Of course, according to the agreement, there will be eight people who will be chosen. If there are fewer than eight people who pass, the remaining spots will be determined by drawing lots. After saying this, Jin Shi slowly shut his eyes and recuperated, ignoring everyone in the process. The entire place was full of commotion again after seeing Jin Shi shut his eyes. Quite a number of people began to whisper to each other. Some even began to find helpers to break through the checkpoint together. Later, all you need to do is to try your best to use Dou Qi to cover your ears and follow behind me. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and looked at the densely packed gold swallowing mouse around the rock stairs before turning his head to speak with Nalan Yanren. The sonic wave of the gold swallowing mouse can ignore any Dou Qi blocking it. Once it enters one's mind, it will cause that person to feel an illusion or giddiness. One will be hard pressed to defend against it. At that time, all you need to do is to take care of yourself. Arriving at this place is already almost my limit. Everyone here is extraordinary. It will be quite difficult if I compete with them. Nalan Yanren mused for a moment in the face of Xiao Yan's good intention before gently shaking her head and replying. Xiao Yan frowned when he heard this. It was unexpected that this gold swallowing mouse's sonic wave was actually so troublesome. Immediately, he asked, how can we fight against it? 
One can rely on one's powerful Dou Qi and forcefully endure through it in the face of the sonic wave attack by the gold swallowing mouse tribe. Alternatively, one can also use sonic wave Dou technique to fight with it. However, the gold swallowing mouse tribe is a naturally born expert in sonic wave attacks. It is likely that an ordinary sonic wave attack would have difficulty charging through the mouse tide sound array. Nalan Yanren hesitantly replied. Sonic wave Dou technique. Xiao Yan softly muttered. His eyes brightened slightly when he heard this. The lion tiger gold shattering roar was coincidentally quite a high grade Dou technique. More importantly, Xiao Yan had consumed a tier 7 medicinal pill, the Yin Yang Mysterious Dragon Pill, in the Black Corner region, back then. From it, he had absorbed a thread of dragon roar. This had caused the strength of his sonic wave Dou technique to become even stronger. He wondered if he could rely on it to charge through this mouse tide sound array. When Xiao Yan recalled this Yin Yang Mysterious Dragon Pill, he also recalled the mysterious effect that this medicinal pill had in aiding one to break through. However, this kind of effect was something that had never appeared ever since he had consumed it. Xiao Yan also felt helpless in the face of this. It was rumored that Feng Zun Jie had relied on this medicinal pill to break through the Dou Zun class. Could it be that he also needed to reach that level for this medicinal pill's miraculous effect to appear? While Xiao Yan was quietly sighing in his heart, Jin Shi's eyes were slowly opened. His gaze swept over the platform. After which, he waved his hand and his faint voice reverberated beside everyone's ears. Time's up. The checkpoint breakthrough shall begin. The atmosphere on the platform became tense the moment Jin Shi uttered those words. The countless numbers of enormous gold-colored mice around the rock stairs suddenly emitted a strange glow. Numerous eyes stared intently at the entrance of the rock stairs. The gold-colored hair on their bodies also began to stand on end, appearing just like a hedgehog. For an instant, no one dared to randomly charge in after seeing the army of gold-swallowing mouse solemnly waiting. The great number was one that no one was aware of. Moreover, most of the people present were clearly aware of just what the sonic wave attack of the gold-swallowing mouse consisted of. That was something which was extremely difficult to block against. During the fight for the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool back then, these beasts had caused many experts to suffer. All of you only have one hour's time. Those who fail to reach the mountain peak within an hour will be deemed to have failed. Jin Shi did not press everyone when he saw that they were quiet. All he did was speak these words in an indifferent manner. The expressions of quite a number of people changed upon hearing these words. A moment later, two figures finally could not wait any longer as they walked out from the crowd. They exchanged looks with one another before immediately cupping their hands to Jin Shi and saying, Bone Transforming Gate, Hu Ya and Hu Chang. Jin Shi nodded his head. The Bone Transforming Gate was not far from the Heaven Eye Mountain Range and was somewhat well known, of course, it was naturally inferior when compared to a faction like the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Moreover, the strength of these two people were coincidentally at that of a four-star and five-star Do Huang. They might be outstanding in other places, but they could only be considered to be at the middle level in this place. After greeting Jin Shi, a somewhat pale white, powerful Do Qi surged out of their bodies, immediately wrapping around both of them. The two of them suddenly stomped onto the ground just after the Dou Qi surged. Their bodies shot out like a thunderbolt as they rushed up the rock stairs. From the way the two acted, it seemed they wished to charge through the so-called mouse tide sound array in one go. The speed of these two was indeed quite fast. After a mere flash, they had charged over a hundred meters. It was also at this instant that the hair on the densely packed gold swallowing mice around the rock stairs stood straight up. After which, they opened their mouths, which were filled with sharp. A sharp cry, that seemed to be able to pierce through one's soul carried an unusual ripple, like that of a demon's tone, suddenly appeared. It immediately spread in all directions. The two figures suddenly paused when the sonic wave appeared. Their faces swiftly became pale, but they were not immediately defeated. They endured the turmoil of the Dou Qi within their body as their toes pressed on the rock stairs and shot out. They endured the sonic wave, that came from all directions, and advanced ten meters before the bodies of the two of them once again stiffened. Two mouthfuls of fresh blood were spat out. Their bodies seemed to have suffered a heavy blow as they flew backwards. Finally, 
they landed heavily on the stage in front of everyone's gazes. Another mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. Quite a number of people on the platform sighed regretfully upon seeing this. This damn sound array was indeed troublesome to deal with. Fail. Jin Shi shook his head and slowly said. The two people from the bone transforming gate could only shake their heads after hearing this. They struggled to get up and stood by the side unwillingly. All they could do now was to hope that there would be less than eight people who could pass through this sound array. Thus, they might still have a chance. Who is next? Jin Shi's gaze swept around and once again asked. The platform was once again silent when these words were uttered. Xiao Yan, Miss Feng, Tang Ying, and the others did not reply. Although they were pressed for time, there was no need for them to hurry now. One should not neglect sharpening one's axe before chopping wood. If they were to observe the sound array, there might be an even greater chance for them to successfully pass through it. Another four people stepped up amid this silence. From the looks of it, they seemed to be planning to using their numbers to forcefully break through. Jin Shi involuntarily twitched his mouth when he saw four people charging together. There was a threat of ridicule on his face. Relying on numbers would not allow one to break through this mouse tied sound array. It was indeed just as Jin Shi had expected. Not long after these four people charged up the rock stairs, the two people in front were sent flying back by the strange soul piercing sound before they had even covered half the journey. After which, they miserably landed on the platform. From the looks of their weary breathing, it was clear that they had suffered serious injuries. Failed, continue. Jin Shi raised his eyes, glanced at the people present, and lazily spoke. Xiao Yan watched the people stepping forward to challenge the checkpoint only to end up returning in failure to the back of the platform. His eyes became slightly solemn as a result. The difficulty of this sound array seemed to be even more difficult than he had expected. Among the challengers earlier, there were also some people who knew sonic wave dough techniques. However, the sonic wave that they had unleashed not only failed to allow them to successfully charge through the checkpoint, but had instead ended up being shaken by the mouse tied sonic wave. They spat out a mouthful of blood and flew back after the two sound waves collided. Although they had failed, one person had traveled the furthest among those who had attempted. If his sonic wave dough technique had been able to withstand the sonic wave emitted from so many gold swallowing mouse, it was likely that he would have really successfully charged through. While the challenge continuing, the people who participated increased. The time they managed to endure while facing the sound array became longer. This caused quite a number of people to feel somewhat excited. After all, even if they were not the ones who charged through, they were at least able to feel some hope. Xiao Yan's hand involuntarily fondled his chin after another person was defeated. The strength of this person was around that of a seven-star Do Huang or so which was similar to Xiao Yan's earlier strength. However, this person was still forced back by the sonic wave while he was still around a hundred meters from the top of the mountain. Another wave of sighs sounded from the platform when they saw this person fail. Immediately, a colorful figure slowly stepped forward. Being one of the focus points on the platform, the actions of Miss Feng naturally attracted the attention of everyone present. Quite a number of people immediately focused. With the strength of this woman, she was considered a top existence among everyone present. If even she was unable to break through this sound array, it was likely that hardly anyone could successfully pass through it. Jin Shi's lazy face revealed an interested expression when he saw Miss Feng walking out. He had heard a little about here. By being able to become the most likely successor of a faction like the Wind Lightning Pavilion, it was likely that no one would believe that she did not have some ability. Jin Shi was very interested about her performance today. Feng Ching Er from the Wind Lightning Pavilion greets Jin Shi Elder. Teacher has told me to represent him and send his greetings before I leave. The colorfully clothed lady walked to the front of the rock stairs and smiled as she spoke to Jin Shi. Jin Shi smiled faintly when he heard this. He said, Help me thank Lei Zun Jie for his concern. I will head to the Wind Lightning Pavilion to meet him if there is a chance in the future. As Feng Ching er her name? Lei Zun Jie. Ah, indeed. It is really impossible for the Wind Lightning Pavilion to possess such a position in the Central Plains if they did not possess a Dozun. Xiao Yan sighed in his heart and muttered softly to himself after hearing the short conversation between Feng Ching er and Jin Shi. 
Feng Ching Er had a polite chat in front of the rock stairs before she ceased speaking. Her pretty eyes turned to the rock stairs that led to the mountaintop. After which, she glanced at the densely packed gold swallowing mice around. A solemnness also surfaced on her face. A bright silver glow swiftly surged out from her body before it immediately wrapped around her. Begin. Jin Shi waved his hand and said after seeing the silver glow appear on Feng Ching Er's body. His voice had just sounded when Feng Ching Er's lovely body suddenly shook. She immediately transformed into a silver line that shot toward the top of the mountain with frightening speed. From the looks of it, it seemed that she was planning to obtain victory using her speed. However, it must be said that this lady's speed was indeed shockingly fast. Even Xiao Yan's eyes revealed some surprise. This lady was indeed not a simple person. Screech 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 screech. Sharp sonic waves transformed into ripples that spread out swiftly at this instant. When the sonic wave made contact with Feng Ching Er's body, her body slightly trembled. Suddenly, her speed soared and a couple of afterimages appeared in the sky. These afterimages immediately crumbled under the spreading sonic wave. This frightening speed caused quite a number of people on the platform to let out an exclamation. Looking from their angle, it seemed that even the sonic wave had difficulty catching up with Feng Ching Er. All it could do was closely follow behind and shatter the afterimages that appeared one after another. Jin Shi narrowed his eyes as he looked at the figure that had transformed into a thunderbolt. He involuntarily nodded. This woman's speed was indeed frightening. It was likely that she had already practiced the Wind Lightning Pavilion's 3000 lightning movement to the highest level. A rushing wind sound appeared on the distant end of the rock stairs. Immediately, Feng Ching Er's lovely body leapt up and steadily landed on a rock. She looked down on everyone standing at the middle of the mountains from above. At this moment, a breeze blew past and her long hair drifted in it. She possessed the noble aura of a queen. Feng Ching Er has successfully passed the checkpoint. Jin Shi withdrew his eyes. His calm voice finally contained a little fluctuation. This woman was someone whom even the most outstanding person among the younger generation in their gold-swallowing mouse tribe could not compare with. This wind lightning pavilion did have a successor. Feng Ching Er was the first to successfully pass the checkpoint. This had caused the people on the platform to turn into an uproar. This was especially the case for Tang Ying, Wang Chen, and Miu Qing Luan. Being the members of the four pavilions, they naturally did not wish to lose to the former in such a place. Xiao Yan also smiled as he looked at the commotion of the place. His gaze looked at the distant mountaintop and coincidentally met with that of Feng Ching Er. The provoking look in the other party's eyes was completely absorbed in his sight. Just follow me. I will lead you through it. Xiao Yan turned his head and smiled at Nalan Yanren. He did not wait for her to reply when he turned around and walked toward the rock stairs. Nalan Yanren was startled when she saw the skinny back. She immediately grit her teeth and swiftly followed. Since Xiao Yan had opened his mouth, she should accompany him to give it a try even if she were to fail in the end. She possessed an unknown confidence in the former. Xiao Yan brought Nalan Yanren and walked toward the front of the platform. At this moment, Tang Ying had also coincidentally walked out from the crowd. His gaze glanced at Feng Ching Er at the end of the rock stairs before turning his head to Jin Shi. He cupped his hands together and said, 10,000 Sword Pavilion Disciple Tang Ying greets Elder Jin Shi. Jin Shi nodded his head slightly. His gaze swept over Tang Ying. The other party's sword aura caused him to slightly nod his head. These four pavilions really lived up to their reputation. The disciples they groomed were all people with great abilities. With such a perfect method to groom new blood, it was little wonder that they were able to possess such a position in the Central Plains. Tang Ying slapped the large blue-colored sword on his back after the greeting. It emitted a clang sound as it automatically flew out. Finally, the sword was suspended in front of Tang Ying. A sharp sword aura permeated out, causing quite a number of people to feel a chill. At the same time, Tang Ying's toes pressed on the ground and his body gently landed on the sword. A surprised glint flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at Tang Ying, who stood on his sword. With his eyesight, Xiao Yan was naturally able to discover some energy shooting out of Tang Ying's fingers and feet. This energy adhered to the sword, providing the large sword with the energy to float in the air. 
This is the royal sword technique of the 10,000 sword pavilion. It is rumored that if one practices it to the highest level, one will be able to control the sword with one's heart as well as move with the sword. One's flying speed will also be extremely quick. This can be considered a unique technique of the 10,000 sword pavilion. Nalan Yanren softly explained to Xiao Yan. She had gained a slight understanding of these large factions during these few years that she had been in the Central Plains. It is indeed quite mysterious. Xiao Yan nodded. Experts were indeed as numerous as the clouds in the Central Plains. It was extremely rare to see such a mysterious Dou skill in other places. Tang Ying's body slowly rose up while Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanlin were conversing. When he was around 30 to 40 feet from the ground, he gradually came to a stop. His gaze stared intently at the densely packed gold swallowing mice on both sides of the rock stairs and narrowed his eyes. An instant later, he swung his robe and the longsword under his feet emitted a kai sound and rushed forward like a meteorite. His body transformed into a blue sword figure that rushed toward the top of the mountain. Screech screech screech. The sword figure had just charged into the region of the rock stairs when an ear-piercing sound that came from all directions was transmitted toward him. Under this kind of sonic wave attack, even one soul would end up intensely trembling. If one did not have a powerful defensive skill, it was likely that one soul would end up suffering quite a serious injury. However, Tang Ying's expression still remained cold in the face of the powerful sonic wave attack. A sharp sword aura surged out of his body, appearing just like a blue-colored sword lotus, which wrapped around his entire body. The sonic wave formed an intense ripple when it collided with it. However, this did not stop Tang Ying. In front of the envious eyes of many on the platform, Tang Ying forcefully broke through the many sonic waves within less than three minutes. With a flash of his body, he charged to the top of the mountain and slowly landed on it. His breathing was a little hurried, but his eyes contained a rare excitement. Although only a short amount of time had passed earlier, the danger that it involved was not any less than a big battle between experts of the same level. Success. Jin Shi nodded slightly and announced after seeing Tang Ying successfully charge to the top of the mountain. Next, a yellow figure immediately rushed out upon hearing this. Finally, he got out of the crowd ahead of Xiao Yan. He cupped his hands toward Jin Shi and said, Wang Chen from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Wang Chen suddenly turned his head around after saying this. He looked at Xiao Yan who was a short distance behind and a cold smile surfaced on his face. Xiao Yan completely ignored this. A slight smile still hung on his face. Wang Chen did not procrastinate. He swiftly turned his body and his gaze landed on the two people at the top of the mountain. With a laugh, a dark black ink like Dou Qi swiftly surged out of his body. After which, it wrapped him up like a black ball. His feet stomped on the ground and the black ball used the most brutal method to rush forward with a kai sound. That sonic wave attack once again surged over when Wang Chen entered the area around the rock stairs. However, Wang Chen relied on his powerful Dou Qi to forcefully withstand the sonic wave. His footsteps appeared as though he was flying as he covered a distance of over a hundred feet. In the blink of an eye he was already close to the mountain top. Quite a number of people emitted an exclamation when they saw that this fellow had chosen to use such a method. They immediately sighed quietly. This fellow's Dou Qi was indeed vast and strong. He was able to forcefully charge through this sound array. Although it may appear somewhat clumsy, it was still a viable method. The dark black ball once again shot forth. Finally, it flipped in the air and landed on top of the mountain with a loud laugh. Success! The corner of Jin Shi's mouth was also lifted as he spoke when his gaze swept over the mountain top. This fellow's Dou Qi was clearly much stronger when compared to ordinary experts at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Moreover, it was the rare darkness affinity Dou Qi. Otherwise, even if he could forcefully break through the sound array, he would definitely show signs of being greatly exhausted. However, from the looks of this person, it seemed that he had an easy time. This Yellow Spring Pavilion was indeed also worthy of being one of the four pavilions. Next, Xiao Yan did not anxiously appear after hearing the voice which escaped Jin Shi's mouth. His gaze turned and saw a green-clothed, young lady slowly walking over. Naturally, she was Mu Qing Luan from the Falling Star Pavilion. 
Falling Star Pavilion Mu Ching Luan greets Elder Jin Shi. The young lady stood prettily and spoke to Jin Shi with a sweet smile. Her face displayed a playful look. Jin Shi's indifferent face finally revealed a smile when his eyes paused on Mu Ching Luan. He nodded his head and slowly said, Miss Ching Luan's tongue is really becoming sweeter and sweeter. Back then, your clan asked you to become Feng Zunjie's disciple. From the looks of it now, it seems that it was quite a good decision. Feng Zunjie. Xiao Yan, who was randomly shifting his eyes on the platform, suddenly stilled his eyes at this moment. After which, he slowly turned his head in a somewhat stiff manner. His gaze had some disbelief as it locked onto Mu Ching Luan. She was actually Feng Zunjie's disciple? Xiao Yan had the intention of searching for Yao Lao's extremely good friend, Feng Zunjie, when he headed to the Central Plains. However, he had not heard much news all this time. Now, he was suddenly able to obtain some information regarding Feng Zunjie in this place? This Mu Ching Luan is a member of the Falling Star Pavilion. If Feng Zunjie is her teacher, then Feng Zunjie is likely someone from the Falling Star Pavilion. This thought swiftly swirled around Xiao Yan's heart. A wild joy also surged onto his face. He was finally able to obtain news about Feng Zunjie. If it was really as Yao Lao had said, he would be able to gain a great help and would no longer be alone. While these thought lingered in Xiao Yan's heart, Mu Ching Luan's legs had already stepped onto the rock stairs. After which, she steadily climbed to the end of the rock stairs. When the sonic waves surged over from all directions, a clear bird chipping soft hum was emitted from Mu Ching Luan's small mouth. Under this soft hum, those sonic wave that surged over seemed to have met with a nemesis and swiftly scattered. In an instant, the tone within the entire sound array became chaotic. During this chaos, Mu Ching Luan climbed up leisurely. Around 10 minutes later, she ascended to the mountain top. It seemed that she was the person who had the easiest time. Those sonic waves that could hurt a person's soul seemed to be completely useless against her. Quite a number of people became stunned when they saw Mu Ching Luan ascend the mountain so easily. No one expected that one could actually pass through this sound array in such a relaxed manner that did not consume any strength. Success. Next. Jin Shi helplessly shook his head when he saw Mu Ching Luan easily reach the top of the mountain. He had forgotten that the sonic wave attack by the gold swallowing mouse did not have much of an effect on Mu Ching Luan. This time around, she had managed to gain a huge advantage. Xiao Yan was also similarly stunned for quite a while because of how Mu Ching Luan had easily passed the checkpoint. A moment later, he finally let out a bitter laugh. His eyes swept around him. At this moment, there was still around 10 people including Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren who had yet to take the challenge following the success of Feng Qing Er and the three others. There were only four spots left. Xiao Yan exhaled gently after seeing that no one had stepped forward. He turned his head, lifted his chin toward Nalan Yanren, and strode out in front of everyone's gazes. Behind him, Nalan Yanren hesitated for a moment before following. All the gazes present swiftly gathered on Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren. The four people on the mountaintop also threw their gazes down with different feelings. One would likely identify Xiao Yan's strength through this sound array. This junior Xiao Yan greets Elder Jin Shi. Xiao Yan cupped his hands together and respectfully spoke. Xiao Yan. Jin Shi's eyes narrowed slightly upon hearing this name. He had indeed heard of this young man whom even Fei Tian was unable to capture. It was unexpected that even he had come to this place. The sound array will strengthen following an increase in the number of people. Are you certain you wish to bring another person along? Jin Shi's eyes glanced at Nalan Yanren and said. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that her strength was insufficient to pass this sound array. Before Xiao Yan could reply, Nalan Yanren behind him began to hesitantly whisper, Why don't you go up by yourself? Bringing me along is too much of a burden. Just follow me. Treat it as a gift to her. Xiao Yan shook his head and slowly walked to the rock stairs. A gift to teacher her. Huh? Nalan Yanren looked at Xiao Yan's back. She gently bit her red lips as self-mockery appeared in her eyes. She immediately sighed, lifted her leg, and followed. Under everyone's gazes, Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren slowly paused in front of the rock stairs. 
Quite a number of people's eyes revealed a curiosity. Many people really wished to know just whether this person who had created an uproar recently possessed a strength comparable to his reputation. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air in front of everyone. He stepped forward and gently landed on the rock stairs. After Xiao Yan's feet stepped onto the rock stairs, the densely packed gold swallowing mice around the rock stairs immediately opened their eyes. The hair on their bodies stood erect as a powerful sonic wave suddenly appeared, causing the energy in this place to swiftly fluctuate. Nalan Yanren clenched her silver teeth after seeing Xiao Yan enter the rock stairs. She merely lifted her head and followed. Follow me. Xiao Yan's gaze stared intently at the gold swallowing mice around the rock stairs. An instant later, his throat suddenly emitted a low roar. His feet stomped violently on the ground after his roar sounded, and he transformed into a light figure, which shot toward the mountaintop in a lightning-like manner. Behind him, Nalan Yanren also stimulated her Dou Qi to its limit and did her best to increase her speed while following close behind Xiao Yan. The people on the platform as well as on the mountaintop also swiftly threw their gazes over when they saw Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren begin. Since the beginning, there had not been a precedent of people successfully passing the checkpoint in groups of two or more individuals. Everyone clearly understood that the strength of this so-called mouse tide sound array was determined by the number of people in the group. Now that Xiao Yan was challenging this checkpoint in a group of two, the sonic wave's strength would naturally be double its ordinary strength. Under such a sonic wave attack, it was likely that even Feng Ching Er and the others would have some difficulty passing through it. Hence, many people did not have much confidence that Xiao Yan would be able to charge through the checkpoint this time around. If he was alone, he might still have a chance. However, now that he was bringing along a burden, the result. After Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren had charged forward by nearly a hundred meters over the rock stairs, the ear-piercing sonic wave that was swiftly formed finally descended from the sky in an abrupt manner, appearing much like a storm. It entered through every single opening on Xiao Yan's and Nalan Yanran's bodies. Xiao Yan's and Nalan Yanran's bodies stiffened almost at the same time when the sonic wave arrived. However, Xiao Yan was in a much better state. By relying on the great strength of his Dou Qi, he was able to forcefully endure it. Although his speed had been reduced, he was ultimately able to withstand it. However, Nalan Yanran the pretty face of Nalan Yanran behind him turned slightly pale. Her speed was quickly reduced as the ear-piercing sonic wave caused her soul to feel waves of piercing pain. The Dou Qi within her body also began to become disorderly. Nalan Yanran tightly clenched her silver teeth. She looked at Xiao Yan's back not far away from her and forcefully endured the pain from her soul that drilled into her heart. The Dou Qi in her body surged out without holding back, forming numerous defenses around her body as she tried her best to stop these sonic wave attacks. Two figures hurriedly flashed up the long rock stairs. The sonic waves from all directions seemed to possess a real form as they permeated every inch of the space around the rock stairs. Each time Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren advanced, they would exhaust a great amount of Dou Qi. Only then were they able to reach their destination. When they were observing earlier, it seemed that the entire journey would only take a short couple of minutes. It was unexpected that after personally giving it a try, they finally became aware just how troublesome and dangerous this thing. Xiao Yan and Nalan Yanren finally charged through half of the distance of the rock stairs in front of everyone's gazes. However, Nalan Yanran's pretty face was extremely pale at this moment. Were it not for her perseverance, she would likely have found it difficult to endure to such an extent. It was a little too difficult for Nalan Yanran to break through this mouse tied sound array with her current strength. Nalan Yanran's vision gradually became blurry. She looked at the figure in front of her, which appeared skinny. However, that figure was unusually stable amid the sonic wave. The corner of her mouth revealed a bitterness. She thought of the distant past when she used a haughty status to forcefully cancel the Shao clan's engagement. At that time, she might have been young and spoiled, but she knew in her heart that the reason for her actions were partly related to Xiao Yan's reputation of being useless. At that time, she had been accepted into the Misty Cloud sect and appeared to have a limitless future in the eyes of many. Xiao Yan, on the other hand, was merely a useless young master from a small clan. The gap between the two was just like that between the heavens and earth. 
Her arrogance back then naturally had difficulty enduring such a gap. However, it was also because of this impulse of hers that gave her this limitless regret. All the things she was proud of were completely destroyed as this young man grew one step at a time. Even her greatest support, the Misty Cloud sect, was eventually forced to take that most miserable step under his cold and indifferent voice. Originally, she thought that she and this young man, who could not be removed from her memory, would become people from two separate worlds after she had left the Jama Empire. However, she had not expected that the person who would step forward and rescue her when she met with danger would actually be him. In their encounter once again, his strength had truly surpassed her. Until now, her qualification to follow in his footsteps had also gradually disappeared. Nalan Yanran bit her lower lip tightly with the back of her teeth when she thought until this point. A thread of blood seeped out. Originally, the relationship between him and her had the chance to be able to reach the most intimate level. Unfortunately, some regret that remained deep within her heart spread out like a poisonous snake, causing the bitterness in the corner of Nalan Yanran's mouth to become denser. The dense Do Chi on the surface of her body also became thinner under the assault of the sonic wave. At a certain instant, the Do Chi suddenly completely disappeared. Nalan Yanran's body suddenly stilled. Her pretty face was as white as snow. Immediately, she spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. Her eyes swiftly turned dark, and her body appeared to have suffered a serious blow as it fell down like a kite with its string cut. I'm sorry, I have already done my best. Nalan Yanran slowly shut her eyes after sensing the exhausted Do Chi within her body. A soft mutter sounded within her heart as she did so. Quite a number of people on the platform involuntarily shook their heads when they saw Nalan Yanran flying back after finally being unable to endure any longer. They involuntarily felt indignation toward Xiao Yan. He had brought such a beauty into the sound array, but was unable to give her any protection. This action was not like a man in the eyes of many people. Acting conceited. Harming others and yourself. Feng Ching Er shook her head gently on the mountaintop as she spoke with a faint ridiculing voice. This person is quite strong. He has yet to reveal his true ability. Tang Ying hesitated for a moment before slowly speaking. Humph, you really think too highly of this brat. Wang Chen curled his mouth and coldly laughed. That might not be true. This person might be young, but even I cannot see through him. Moreover, he is able to escape from the hands of Fei Tian from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Although he had the help of external strength, it is likely that no one will believe that he does not have some ability. Mu Qing Luan by the side covered her mouth and laughed with her lovely voice when she heard this. A muffled thunder sound suddenly resonated from the rock stairs while the four people were conversing. Immediately, they saw Xiao Yan's body suddenly crumbled under the sonic waves. The next time he appeared, he was already behind Nalan Yanran. He extended his arm and held her narrow waist. Ha! Huh. 3000 lightning movement. It is really as the rumors say. This person has managed to learn the wind lightning pavilion's 3000 lightning movement from some unknown place. Looking at it now, this is indeed true. Mu Qing Luan immediately spoke with surprise when she saw the disappearing afterimage and the thunderous roar. He is just a little thief. Feng Qing Er glanced indifferently at Mu Qing Luan. Her voice carried a thread of iciness. A little thief will not be able to escape from the hands of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion's chief, Fei Tian. Mu Qing Luan did not feel the least bit afraid of Feng Qing Er. Instead, she curled her small mouth and laughed softly. Feng Qing Er's eyebrows were bunched up together in the face of Moon Qing Luan's tit for tat. However, due to the other party's identity, she could only swing her sleeves and turned her cold gaze towards Xiao Yan on the rock stairs. She said, in that case, I want to see just how he will bring a person and get through this mouse-tied sound array. Xiao Yan hugged Nalan Yanran's waist in front of everyone's eyes. His body paused in midair as his gaze focused intently on the densely packed gold swallowing mouse below. A cold glint flashed across his eyes. You should challenge the formation alone. I am unable to get through this large formation. Nalan Yanran said. Her pale face revealed a bright redness upon having her soft waist hugged by Xiao Yan. Use your remaining Do Qi to cover your ears. I said that I will lead you across the formation, and I will do it. Xiao Yan spoke faintly. 
Nalan Yanren hesitated for a moment when she saw Xiao Yan's insistence. All she could do was nod her head. After which, she used her remaining Dou Qi to swiftly cover both of her ears. The countless number of gold swallowing mice below paused for a moment before suddenly raising their heads. Numerous gazes were locked onto Xiao Yan in the sky. Immediately, their teeth filled mouths were swiftly opened. A sonic wave, even more frightening than the one earlier, was emitted like a thunderbolt. The faces of everyone on the platform changed as they sensed the strength of this sonic wave. Xiao Yan looked at the substance like sonic wave from the air. His mouth pulsed and his face turned a somewhat flushed red. An instant later, he suddenly opened his mouth. Roar. A thunder-like lion and tiger roar suddenly appeared in the sky. Enormous sound waves wrapped around the entire Heaven Eye Mountain. The shocking roar even contained a strange dragon roar, causing the soul of anyone who heard it to tremble. Their legs also involuntarily shook. Dragon roar. The passive face Jin Shi displayed changed expressions at this moment while he involuntarily cried out. That kind of sonic wave was not frightening. However, the thing that caused him to be most shocked was that a dragon roar was hidden in the cry. This kind of dragon roar was something that an ordinary Do skill could not imitate. Only some unique beast which truly possessed the bloodline of a dragon could emit it. However, Xiao Yan was a human. The enormous sonic wave swept around in front of numerous shocked gazes. It violently collided with the sonic wave from the mouse tide. After which, a completely one-sided disappearance occurred. What disappeared was the mouse tide sonic wave. Xiao Yan relied on his own strength to destroy the sonic wave formed from a countless number of gold-swallowing mice head-on in this kind of sonic wave face-off. This scene caused those people on the platform and the mountaintop to instantly become stunned. This. How is this possible? The mouse tied sonic wave that came from all directions completely scattered. Finally, they spread all over the place in a chaotic fashion. In an instant, the forest around the rock stairs suffered. The sonic wave were just like blades which completely cut the many trees right through the middle amid swash swash sounds. Xiao Yan looked at the mouse tied sonic wave that faced a total defeat from the sky. He was also a little stunned. His heart clearly understood that the reason he was able to achieve such an effect was likely because of the thread of dragon aura he had obtained from the yin yang mysterious dragon pill. Otherwise, with just the level of the lion tiger gold shattering roar, it was definitely impossible to achieve such a shocking effect even if it could fight against such a great sonic wave. I have never discovered such a benefit during my fight with humans. This dragon aura seems to pose greater harm to magical beasts. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the surroundings of the rock stairs. He had begun to tremble upon discovering the countless numbers of gold swallowing mouse. The fierceness from earlier had completely disappeared. Clearly, that roar had caused them significant harm. Xiao Yan hugged Nalan Yanran's narrow waist. He hesitated for a moment before finally moving. After which, he rushed to the top of the mountain without any hindrance. Only then did he gently set her down. At this moment, the platform and the mountaintop were completely silent. No one expected that Xiao Yan would choose the fiercest method to break through the checkpoint. Moreover, the thing that really caused everyone to be speechless was that he had actually really managed to successfully destroy that mouse tied sound array that was formed by a countless number of gold swallowing mouse. It was likely that very few people present could achieve this. This fellow is indeed an abnormal being. Quite a number of people muttered in their hearts as a strange look appeared in their eyes. Asterisk. Beside the rock stairs, Jin Shi, who was stunned for a moment, had finally recovered. He looked at the weary gold swallowing mouse and involuntarily laughed. It was unexpected that this fellow possessed such a technique. Now that he had done this, the strength of the mouse tied sound array would definitely have been reduced. This will end up giving those after him an advantage. Jin Shi sighed helplessly. He waved his hand and said, The challenge is a success. Next. You have less than half an hour. A human figure hurriedly walked forward upon hearing Jin Shi's words. After which, he swiftly walked to the rock stairs. On the mountaintop, Xiao Yan took out a medicinal pill from his storage ring, handed it to Nalan Yanren and inquired, Are you alright? Nalan Yanren shook her head gently after receiving the medicinal pill. She softly replied, I'm fine. 
Thank you. Xiao Yan smiled. Only then did he turn his gaze and sweep it across the top of the mountain. This Heaven Eye Mountain's peak was quite large. Moreover, it was filled with potholes. Rocks were scattered all over it. The spot where the four others were located was coincidentally a flat stone platform that was cut from an enormous rock. However, he did not see the Heaven Eye blood pool. It was likely located in some other place. Xiao Yan made a brief observation of his surroundings before turning his gaze to Feng Ching Er and the three others. At this moment, these four people were also throwing their gazes to him. Tang Ying's and Mu Ching Luan's gazes were still all right. However, Feng Ching Er's and Wang Chen's gazes were somewhat unfriendly. Congratulations! Tang Ying's cold face revealed a smile as he cupped his hands toward Xiao Yan. Thank you! Xiao Yan smiled. He did not have any ill feelings toward Tang Ying. Hence, he was quite courteous to him. He completely ignored Feng Ching Er and Wang Chen by the side. This kind of complete disregard also caused the chill in their eyes to become denser. The eyes of Mu Ching Luan by the side looked toward the next challenger on the rock stairs before turning her gaze away after seeing that there was little suspense. She observed Xiao Yan with some interest and saucily asked, What level of mastery has your 3000 lightning movement reached? Mu Ching Luan had actually asked such a question in front of Feng Ching Er. Clearly, Mu Ching Luan's intention was to make her feel unhappy. As expected, Feng Ching Er's face became even colder upon hearing these words. She faintly said, Mu Ching Luan, taking the opportunity to gain advantage with your tongue now does not show that you have any ability. I will test and see if your strength has improved during these four years in the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting three months from now. Mu Ching Luan lifted the corner of her mouth and smiled as she replied, I am rather looking forward to it. I wonder if the luck from the last round will appear on you again? You know best in your heart whether it was good luck. Feng Ching Er raised her pretty eyes gently. Her calm voice had a kind of provoking aura. Xiao Yan was also stunned when he saw the two clashing. It seemed that the four pavilions were not as harmonious as he had thought. However, he also felt quite pleased at being able to see Feng Ching Er suffer a loss. Perhaps it was due to her identity, but this woman gave him a terrible impression right from the start. Miss Mu. May I know if I can have a private word with you? Xiao Yan asked. He did not wish to intervene in the mutual criticism between these two women. However, the current him was anxiously wishing to obtain some news. Mu Ching Luan was also startled when she heard this. This was the first time she had met Xiao Yan, and they could not be considered to be familiar with one another. However, thinking about how Xiao Yan had caused the Wind Lightning Pavilion to lose a great amount of face during this period of time had caused her to have quite a good impression of him. She did not reject him. Instead, her heart contained a little doubt as she nodded her head and gently drifted to one side. Don't move around randomly. Wait for me. Xiao Yan instructed Nalan Yanren. After which, he swiftly rushed away and slowly landed beside Mu Qing Luan. Is there a matter? Mu Qing Luan's delicate hand parted the black hair on her forehead as she turned around and laughed with a hand over her mouth. Looking at Mu Qing Luan from a close proximity, she appeared to be an extremely young girl. However, Xiao Yan knew that this girl was strong. He hesitated for a moment before finally inquiring, May I inquire if Feng Zunjie is Miss Emu's teacher? Yes, quite a number of people know about this. Don't tell me that you want to ask this? Mu Qing Luan raised her thin eyebrows gently as she replied. In that case, does Miss Mu know about the whereabouts of Elder Feng? Xiao Yan courteously asked. Who exactly are you? Why are you searching for teacher? Mu Qing Luan narrowed her eyes as she spoke with some caution. Xiao Yan could only bitterly laugh when he saw the cautious manner of Mu Qing Luan. He hesitated for a moment before relying, a disciple of an old friend. On orders from my teacher, I have come to look for Elder Feng. A disciple of an old friend. Which old friend? Mu Qing Luan was startled when she heard this. Her gaze carefully observed Xiao Yan before asking. This. Miss Feng will be aware of this in the future. However, it is not convenient to talk about it now. Xiao Yan shook his head and spoke somewhat apologetically. He had never met Feng Zunjie and was unaware of what his strength was like. Although he had absolute trust in what Yao Lao had said, 
he was currently no longer that naive little fellow from back then. Acting cautiously was something that had long been deeply imprinted in his bones. Miu Ching Luan involuntarily curled her mouth when she heard this. Feng Zun Jie had a wide social circle and many friends. This reason was clearly insufficient. However, she did not want to make things even more difficult. With Feng Zun Jie's strength, it was likely that Xiao Yan would be able to accomplish nothing even if he held ill intent within his heart. Miu Ching Luan immediately waved her hand and said, Teacher loves to travel. It is difficult to meet him on an ordinary day. However, if you really wish to look for him, you can head to the Wind Lightning Eastern Pavilion three months from now. Wind Lightning Pavilion? Xiao Yan was startled when he heard these words. His face was immediately covered with a bitter smile. His relationship with the Wind Lightning Pavilion had already turned to such a state. How could he head to their headquarters? Just a single Fei Tian had already managed to chase him until such a manner. The Wind Lightning Eastern Pavilion was where the headquarters were located. There would definitely be many experts there. It was likely that he would not be able to return after heading there. The location of the Four Pavilions Grand Meeting three months from now will be held at the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Being one of the parties participating in it, my Falling Star Pavilion will naturally be present. At that time, teacher will also head there. If you wish to find him, you can only do so at that time. It is not that I am purposefully playing with you. Miu Ching Luan spoke in a lovely voice. She covered her mouth and laughed when she saw the bitter smile on Xiao Yan's face. Three months later huh? Xiao Yan fell into deep thought after he let out a bitter smile. He finally nodded and said, Thank you for your information Miss Feng. You aren't really planning on heading there, are you? Not only will Fei Tian be present in the Four Pavilions Grand Meeting. Even the other two pavilion chiefs will be present. Moreover, there is also the Eastern Pavilion Chief Lei Zunjie there. You are really seeking death if you head there. Miu Ching Luan widened her beautiful watery eyes as she stared at Xiao Yan. That appearance was as though she was looking at a fool. From the way she saw it, this action of Xiao Yan was no different from allowing himself to be caught. I know my limits. Xiao Yan grinned and replied. If it was really as Yao Lao had said, Feng Zunjie would definitely be able to provide him with quite a great amount of help. Should he lend a hand, the chances of successfully rescuing Yao Lao would be much higher. After all, he really did not have many people that could help in the Central Plains. Miu Ching Luan did not say anything more when she saw Xiao Yan's insistence. She waved her hands and said, Since you persist on going, you should not blame me. However, if it is really as you say and you are a disciple of teacher's old friend, his elderly self might help plead on your behalf and get the Wind Lightning Pavilion to let you off. Even that Lei Zunjie must give him some face. Xiao Yan beamed and nodded. He once again thanked Miu Ching Luan. Immediately, he heard some noise being emitted from the rock platform. He lifted his eyes and saw that there were another two figures who had successfully broke through the mouse tide sonic wave. Let's go, the time is about to be up. Miu Ching Luan swept over the rock platform before waving her hand. She had just turned around when she hesitated for a moment. Finally, she said, that's right. I'll give you a reminder. Be careful of Feng Ching Er and Wang Chen. Miu Ching Luan's toes pressed gently on the ground after her words sounded. After which, her body gently drifted forward before landing on a rock. Xiao Yan nodded slightly as he looked at Miu Ching Luan's figure. His gaze immediately flickered over Feng Ching Er and Wang Chen without leaving any trace. There was a faint cold glint flashing within his eyes. It would be fine if they did not meddle with him. Should they really choose to be foolish, he would let them know that he, Xiao Yan, was not someone whom others could randomly manipulate. The attempt to break through the sonic wave checkpoint had gradually reached the end by the time Xiao Yan returned to the rock platform. The thing that caused him to be stunned was that three people had successfully reached the mountaintop during this short period of time. Thus, there were nine people on the rock platform. However, after putting aside the two spots for the gold swallowing mouse, there were only eight spots for the heaven mountain blood pool remaining. In other words, there was one person among the nine of them who would lose the opportunity to enter the heaven mountain blood pool. Xiao Yan looked at the person who was the last to charge through the checkpoint after landing on the rock platform. After which, 
He sensed the strength of the sonic wave and involuntarily frowned. It seemed that the current sonic wave was much weaker than before. Xiao Yan's heart contained some doubt as he fell deep into thought. A moment later, he looked at the somewhat weary-looking gold swallowing mouse and immediately understood the reason. He let out a bitter laugh. It was unexpected that the people behind him had gained such a great advantage after he had used the lion tiger gold shattering roar. According to the strength of the mouse tide sound array earlier, at least one of the three people who had succeeded in crossing the checkpoint would have difficulty passing through it. The other two might not have had such an easy time crossing it. Xiao Yan had unintentionally helped create a passing condition for those fellows behind. Of course, even though these people possessed such a good condition to cross the checkpoint, they still needed to possess some strength. Those three people earlier all had the strength of a seven-star Do Huang and could not be considered weak. Xiao Yan sighed helplessly in his heart. Xiao Yan's gaze turned to a figure that was miserably flashing on the rock stairs. He shook his head slightly. This person's strength was only around that of a six-star Do Huang. His chance of success of passing through this mouse tied sound array was not very high. As Xiao Yan had expected, this figure's Do Qi was finally exhausted just as he was about a couple dozens of meters from the mountain top. His face turned white and a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. After which, his body miserably shot back and finally landed heavily on the platform. His face was one that was not resigned to the situation. Those people on the platform, who had failed before, also sighed when they saw that this person's efforts were futile. Their gazes bitterly looked at the mountaintop. There were already more than eight people there. In other words, they no longer had the chance to ascend to the peak. The challenge is over. For those who failed, there will be someone to send you off the Heaven Eye Mountain. Jin Shi glanced at those unwilling people on the platform while his faint voice announced their fate. The faces of quite a number of people became much paler when they heard Jin Shi's words. However, he ignored them. He waved his hand and a couple of strong people with human bodies and mouse heads walked out, sealing off the rock stairs. After which, Jin Shi's body flashed and appeared at the top of the mountain in a ghost-like manner before looking down at Xiao Yan's group from a higher spot. Xiao Yan's group hurriedly bowed when they saw Jin Shi appeared. They clearly knew that regardless of who it was, Whoever offended the people from the gold swallowing mouse tribe would likely end up suffering for it. Jin Shi nodded. He slowly landed on the ground before walking toward the deep parts of the mountain peak. Follow me. Xiao Yan and the others did not dare to slight Jin Shi after hearing this. All of them swiftly followed at his pace. A strange rock forest was at the peak of Heaven Eye Mountain. If one raised one's head in this place, one would coincidentally be able to see the fluctuations of the extremely dense energy tide. The energy pressure that vaguely spread from it caused one's heart to involuntarily feel a chill. The colorful energy tide was just like a wave as it spread out again and again, an extremely majestic scene. Xiao Yan's group swiftly jumped through the strange rocks while they endured the energy wave in the sky. This continued for a while, their footsteps followed Jin Shi before gradually coming to a stop. All of them slowly climbed a steep slope. The scene that appeared in front of them immediately caused them to inhale a breath of cool air. In front of Xiao Yan's group was an extremely spacious volcano. Wisps of hot fog, that contained fire poison, were repeatedly spat out. In the middle of the volcano was a small pool which was around 10 feet in diameter. At this moment, the pool was almost empty. One could vaguely see a fiery red lava-like substance in it. That is the Heaven Eye Blood Pool. However, now is not the time when the energy tide is at its peak. When it reaches the peak, the entire mountain range's energy will gather at this volcano. At that time, the blood pool will also overflow. All of you only need to enter it at that time. Jin Shi pointed at the pool at the middle of the volcano and faintly spoke. Everyone's heart involuntarily leapt when they heard this. Their eyes also became a lot hotter when they looked at the pool. If they could soak in it, they would be able to save an unknown number of years of tough training. All of you need to remember that the interior of the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool contains an extremely dense fire poison. Hence, you cannot stay in it for too long. All of you must come out after at most three days. Otherwise, if the fire poison enters your body, it is likely that it will be difficult to expel even if your teachers do it personally. 
The fire poison has accumulated over a countless number of years. Once it enters your body, it will be just like maggots in one's bones. Other than some high-tier alchemists, it is likely that no one can remove it. Jin Shi spoke with a deep voice. The expressions of quite a number of people changed a little upon hearing these words. It was unexpected that there was such a danger within this heaven mountain blood pool. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over Jin Shi. His heart suddenly understood something. No wonder Xiao Yan felt that he had accumulated an injury. From the looks of it, the injury should be related to this fire poison. Additionally, there are nine of you presently here. In other words, one of you will not be able to enter the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool. You will have to decide who cannot enter. Jin Shi raised his eyelids and slowly said. The atmosphere became mysterious after these words sounded. With the exception of Feng Ching Er and the three others, those other individuals by themselves began to slowly step back a little. There was a little more caution within their eyes as they looked around them. Jin Shi was unconcerned about their reaction. He had just turned around when his footsteps suddenly paused. His eyes turned to Xiao Yan and said, Follow me. Everyone present, including Xiao Yan, was startled when they heard this. Immediately, they threw some unusual gazes at him. Being the party involved, Xiao Yan hesitated a moment and was just about to speak when he saw Jin Shi slowly walk toward the entrance to the volcano. He headed to another peak where a rock pavilion was located. Seeing this, Xiao Yan could only nod his head. He said something to Nalan Yanren and swiftly followed. Jin Shi was already standing with his hands behind his back when he saw Xiao Yan arrived at the rock pavilion. His gaze looked to the colorful energy tide in the sky. He was even able to see that gray-clothed, old man whom he had met at the maze earlier within the rock pavilion. Jin Shi smiled toward Xiao Yan when he saw him arrive. He glanced at Jin Ji Yu before speaking, Little fellow, do you know why I have called you over? Xiao Yan was quiet for a moment when he heard this. After which, he immediately asked, because of Elder Jin Shi's internal injury. Xiao Yan clearly sensed Jin Shi's body tremble slightly the moment he spoke. Jin Ji Yu, on the other hand, laughed out loud and said, See, I already said that this fellow is not an ordinary alchemist. Jin Shi slowly turned around. His originally calm eyes had become exceptionally sharp at this moment. He stared at Xiao Yan and asked somewhat doubtfully, You are able to tell that I am suffering from internal injuries. One could not fault him for doubting. It should be known that even some top tier 6 alchemist did not reach this level. Could this young man in front of him, who was 20 plus years old, be at a higher tier than this? I, I am able to see a little. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. Are you confident you can treat it? Jin Shi took two steps forward and inquired in a deep voice. I can take a look. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment and unceremoniously sat down in front of a rock table. After which, he pointed at the rock chair beside him. Jin Shi's mouth twitched upon seeing this, but he could only obey and sit down. Xiao Yan grabbed Jin Shi's arm. His eyes narrowed while a thread of spiritual strength swiftly entered his body. Jin Shi and Jin Ji Yu exchanged glances after seeing Xiao Yan shut his eyes. They did not interrupt him by saying anything. Most alchemists were eccentric in nature. Back then, they had suffered a lot just to find an alchemist to help take a look. Xiao Yan was many times better when compared to them. Xiao Yan continued his probing for a while before he finally slowly opened his eyes. The expression in them was somewhat solemn. How is it? Jin Ji Yu by the side hurriedly asked. The fire poison has entered the body and seeped deep into the bones. This is the first time that I have seen such deep-seated fire poison. It is extremely difficult to expel it. Xiao Yan withdrew his hand and shook his head. His gaze involuntarily contained some pity when looking at Jin Shi. Were it not because of this fellow's great strength, it was likely that he would have turned to ashes from this fire poison. The expressions of Jin Shi and Jin Ji Yu became much gloomier when they heard Xiao Yan uttering a similar observation as some other high-tier alchemists. Xiao Yan rubbed his finger gently over the table when he saw the appearance of these two. A moment later, he finally said, Although it is extremely difficult to expel, it is not completely without a solution. The rock table in front of Jin Shi immediately formed some cracks the moment these words sounded. His eyes were heated as he raised his head and stared intently at Xiao Yan. 
His voice had finally become anxious, you. Mr. Xiao Yan is able to expel the Heaven Mountain Fire Poison in my body? Xiao Yan smiled, but did not reply. His gaze slid to the area outside of the rock pavilion, appearing unformidable. Jin Shi and Jin Ji Yu were startled when they saw this. They immediately seemed to have understood something. Jin Shi hesitated a moment before finally clenching his teeth as he softly said, As long as you can completely expel the Heaven Mountain Fire Poison in my body, I will give you an opportunity that will guarantee your successful advancement to a Dozong. The gaze that was looking away from the rock pavilion seemed to have instantly turned back. Xiao Yan's eyes had also become extremely heated at this moment. He did not hesitate as a heavy word was uttered from his mouth. Agreed. 